All right, here we go. Paimon feels like a whole new Paimon after those two days in the hot springs. We actually finally got to relax. A our relaxation, though. We actually got to relax, man. I feel so bad. Is Atea still around? Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we going to have a funeral for Atea? No. Still, spending time here really has felt like a vacation. The Koholosaurs are so nice and so fun to play with. Their bellies are super bouncy. Oh, and Atea's snacks were so delicious. She's going to die. Some for the road just this morning, actually. She's going to die. What was she up to? Yelling at some kids who got caught throwing stones in the hot springs. So not much has changed since we first met her. True. She's a mom. She's like a mom. She's the hey, leader. you guys. Sleep well last night? Yep. I actually this did. This area is so nice. <laughs> I, I slept in so hard this morning. Glad you like it. I was thinking of taking you guys out to do some sea fishing. Ooh. Later tonight, we can eat whatever we catch. Fresh fish is absolutely delicious right off the grill. Let's go. Hey, Moalani. Tonina, hi. How are you? Yeah? What do you need? The team sent out to fight in the Night Warden Wars has returned. Ooh, anybody dead? Everybody okay? And Kachina? Is she back as well? Don't you do it, game. I swear to God. Don't you do it. I swear to God. If you, if you, I swear, if you're like, no, she got wounded or she's hurt or she's dead. I promise you, I am going to throw my monitor out the window. Kachina fell in. No, bed. she did not. You're a fucking liar. You lie, lie, liar, liar, pants on fire. You're lying. You're lying to me. You're lying. You're lying. I'm never playing this game again, man. But don't worry. The team was victorious. So the rite of resurrection will be held in the stadium. Grab the Kachina. Bring her back to life. That's a relief. The abyss is cunning, and it was her first time. Mistakes are bound to happen. I'm glad that nobody cares that she's like, oh, Kachina's dead, but we're just gonna bring her back to life. Like, nobody's, like, no worries in the world. Exactly. She deserves to hold her head up high. All right, thanks for letting me know. We'll head out in a bit. I hate this game, man. Kachina, what happened? Jeez. She sounded a little anxious there. Had me thinking it was bad news for a moment. Mulani, you said the Abyss was cunning just now. Uh. It seems like the Abyss just wants to destroy everything. Like, think about all those monsters that attacked your tribe. If there really was some sort of cunning plan, wouldn't it make more sense to send them to attack Kachina and her small team? You would think. Um, not that Paimon wants them to be in any more danger. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> Relax, I get it. The abyss is difficult to understand, that's for sure. At a glance, it certainly seems like the only goal is total destruction. The abyss isn't a living entity after all, so what capacity for logic or planning could it possibly possess? All right, so make sure I have this right. If Kachina, like they said, fell in battle and the rest of her team fell in battle and they all died in battle, she would not get resurrected, right? They just stay dead. Like, like, you know, if your teammates don't pick up the slack, then that's it. We need to have a chat with Chaska and Ian-san and see what happened. Did they die too, or was it just her? Like, who, who, was it like last man standing? Like, was there one person left? Who, who is the person that we need to like, go and like hug? But through our long history of fighting the Abyss, we've realized things aren't quite so simple. 500 years ago, the Abyss invaded Tevat. You know about that, right? Yeah, we know, yep, yep. During the age of Conria, yeah, we know all about that. That's right. Conria suffered greatly during that time, but so did every other nation in Tevat. And Natlan was the worst affected of all. Nah. It took the combined efforts of the then Pyro Archon and heroes from every tribe to finally repel the Abyss. Even so, the effects of the invasion lingered for hundreds of years, only able to be reversed little by little. Okay. Our tribe's waters were contaminated. The children of Echo's territory was overrun by dangerous sludge surging from underground. Unrelenting black winds tore across the lands of the Flower Feather Clan. 
It was like each disaster was designed for a specific tribe. Man, that's crazy. So the Abyss understood the foundation of each tribe. Exactly. We once thought that the Abyss's desire for destruction was a sort of primal instinct. But its methods are, in truth, marked by intelligence. We now believe the Abyss has invaded the Night Kingdom. And has the capacity to read the memories of this land at any given moment. And that's how it became so dangerous and cunning. Almost like it knows you inside and out. Yeah, kind of. Yes. And that's why we've been unable to fully eradicate it. <sighs> even after all this time. Luckily, the problems left behind by the Abyss have been successfully addressed by the various Pyro Archons we've had over the years. Now every tribe is prospering and things are looking up. I mean, just look at what we managed to do a few days ago. We totally fought them off. I don't think we... I, I don't think there is a Pyro Archon in Nalan. I think either it doesn't exist or the Archon is dead. One of the two because of the Statue of the Seven situation. I do not think there is a Pyro Archon here. I think the current person who is playing the Pyro Archon, very, very similar to like Farina and Fossilors, but I don't think there's a Fossilors here. I don't think that there's a... There's a Archon that's here. I think the Archon is dead and the person is pretending that the Archon is still alive when it's actually not. Does that make sense? In other nations, I've seen how much effort it takes to truly eradicate the Abyss. True. The people of Nalan live in its shadow every day. Who knows how long it will take for this war to end? You must have had to sacrifice a lot to get to this point. Every battle, every sacrifice is in pursuit of a future where we get to stop fighting. Responsibility duty unavoidable burden everyone in natland views the war differently but i believe we will be rid of the abyss one day and the efforts of all who fought against them will become a story for the ages i agree muolani to think that my name could survive in ballads passed down to future generations it's kind of romantic kind of everyone has something that drives them forward you know you can do it. You make me want to contribute. <laughs> She's so cute. Guest. Heroes are always welcome in Natlan. Anyway, let's head to the stadium. Our fishing trip can wait until Kachina's back with us. Okay, I guess. The sea's not going anywhere. Let's go bring Kachina back to life. Make her a zombie, I guess. Black stone under a white stone. All right, here we go. Act two. What's going on? We gotta resurrect Kachina. Everybody else lived except for her. Everybody else lived except for her. Oh, this place is packed already. I have a feeling that they threw her, like they sacrificed her. Like something happened and, and they just like threw her to the wolves. Of course, no one's gonna miss out on the chance to welcome our heroes back from battle. <laughs> it's their moment of glory. Kachina's gonna be so flustered. She's never had this many eyes on her before. She'll be fine. Is it like waking up from a dream or something? Is that how they do this? Yeah, she doesn't seem like the kind of person who likes being the center of attention. Looks like I'm just in time. Is this like a cloning issue? What if she's really dead and they do like, instead of like resurrecting her, they're like cloning her, right? Like, what if her personality's different? She comes back and she's all angry and just pissed off and mean. What if that's the case? Kanit, you're here! Yeah, a commission ran longer than expected, but I made it. I heard about the incident with your tribe, Muolani. Is everyone all right? Yeah, it's all taken care of. Our new friend here's got some tricks up his sleeve, by the way. He's just as strong as Kachina made him out to be. Eh, I could have done better. If only I'd been more perceptive, yeah. Hey, is it about to start? All right, show us what it is what. Where's are they? Do are they like laying her body on a slab or That's something? Right. Like what? What are Someone we doing? Someone will come out and recite a eulogy, and then we'll sing the ode of resurrection together. Oh, we're gonna sing a song. Come on, let's find a spot with a good view. When the singing starts, just follow my lead, and you'll be fine. Sounds good, Mulani. Let's go somewhere higher up so Kachina can spot us. Let's go. I'm telling you, what if it like they're cloning and, and like her personality is different? She's gonna come back and be all pissed off and you know cuss everybody out. Can you imagine? Warriors of Netland, heed the call of life. Okay. 
We are the inheritors of memory and legend. She's so hot. Those who grew alongside sun and wind. Those who forged our own destiny and future. That is Natland's fire. The lifeblood of our ooh. nation. Ooh, ooh, she's doing something. What you doing? Did you just... Did you just walk into the fire? Nope. Moment of silence. Is that what's going on? Oh, they're singing. I just got chills, like legit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Huh? That was pretty epic. Yeah. Where is she? <laughs> Where's Kachina? Hello? Knock, knock. I could not find Kachina within the Night Kingdom or <clears throat> locate her ancient name. Look harder. You better look harder. You better go back in there and you better find little baby Geo right now, Mabuika, or we're gonna have an issue. What do you mean couldn't find her? Did you look hard enough? I mean, I lose my keys and half the time they're right in front of my face. You better go look again. What? Go look again! Uh, what does that even mean? I don't know, but she better go back in there and she don't come out until she finds her. Usually, once the ode is complete, the Pyro Archon and Resurrected Person will emerge from the flames. But something went wrong. Well, this is a bunch of bullshit! What's going on? This has never happened before. Why is it happening now? Well, she better I get her it's ass. Pretty obvious. No. Clearly, the team sent to fight the Abyss didn't win after all. Well, if they didn't win, they would have died. What'd they do? You think they ran away? Think about it. The Ode rekindles all victors. We witnessed it countless times. Since the Archon couldn't find Kachina in the Night Kingdom, that must mean there's more to this victory than meets the eye. Oh, so they're saying that they're all liars. Hey, you just haven't gotten over the fact that Kachina beat you in the pilgrimage. You tell him, Paimon. Pathetic. The both of you. Your wild guesses are misplaced. We completed our mission. Then where is she? Maybe you did. But who's to say whether that little girl even contributed at all? Maybe she got scared and ran off. Maybe you deserve a drop kick in the face. Why would the Wyab recognize someone like her, even if she was on the winning team? Wait, is so is wait, is he saying that maybe she doesn't even have an ancient name? You have to have an ancient name to be resurrected, right? So maybe she doesn't have an ancient name. Maybe somebody lied to her. How dare you insult a hero of Natland like that? That's all I can think of. Kachina sacrificed herself to repel the abyss. She doesn't deserve to be subjected to your vile rumors when she's not even here to defend herself. Yeah, Mulani, go up there and shove that shark up their ass. Calm down, Mulani. There's no point arguing with the likes of them. I can't just sit here and let them slander her like that. Yeah, go get them. To insult a hero of Natlan, the person actually has to be a hero. You, you. Oh, go get him. Go get him. Think about it, everyone. Who do you think is really at fault here? A girl who never should have even gone to war? Or the great Pyro Archon? Why would the rules of our nation suddenly stop working? You better go back in there and find her. 
Red. So I'm gonna call you from now on, Red. Hey, Red, you better get your ass back in the fire. It's true. If she wasn't revived, it must mean she failed to achieve victory. Maybe the Wyab interpret victory in different ways? Maybe. I mean, that girl didn't look all that strong to me. You better find her. And I want to find her now. Power Arkin seems to be deep in thought. Why isn't she putting a stop to the commotion? Kachita wouldn't have run. That's not like her at all. No, she wouldn't have. I agree. No, she's been waiting for this moment for too long. You better go get her. No matter how daunting the situation, no matter how scared she might feel, she's always the first person to stand up and face it head on. We don't even know what happened. So don't you dare try to use this as an excuse to vent your anger or slander her reputation. That's right. Fine. We'll find out what happens soon enough. Then, we'll see who truly deserves glory. Yeah, we're gonna make you eat your words, bro. That's enough. What do you gotta say, Red? Get your ass back in the flame and go to the Night Kingdom and you find our little baby Geo. There is no doubt about today's victory or Kachina's part in it. She is a hero worthy of our admiration and celebration. But what? However... The failure of today's ceremony is undeniable. Kachina has not been rekindled, and I offer you all my deepest apologies as I continue to investigate this matter. I don't accept. I don't accept until you find her. I don't accept until she's right in front of me. Nope. To prevent further casualties, I have decided to suspend the pilgrimage until this matter is resolved. What? Yeah. No one is all-knowing. No one is infallible, not even myself. But doubt is a means by which we seek the truth, not a weapon we wield against others. I, 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 I didn't mean it that way, Archon. I just... Uh, sounds like you did. If there are things you wish to clarify, then ask me directly. Doubt my answer if you wish. But now's your chance. You have concerns? State them. I, I don't think I would say anything because I'd be afraid she would like make me spontaneously combust. No, of, of course not. You sure? You sure you had a lot to say just a little bit ago? You sure you don't want to bitch at her? I mean. Even though I have said nothing to change your mind, then it would seem the truth never mattered to you at all. That guy doesn't even have the courage to answer the Pyro Archon's <laughs> question. So much for all that glory talk earlier. All right, Paimon. Yeah. I have a question, Archon. Ooh, Mulani, be careful. My friend Kachina. Do you have any idea where she is? It's extremely important to me. I know you said you were investigating the situation, but I'm sorry, that's not enough. I agree. I agree with you, Mulani. I've already shared everything I know. If you want to learn the truth and rescue your friends sooner, you should join the investigation. Okay. So, what do you say? We're in. Of course I'll join. But where, where are we going to go? In what are we going to do? Come see me in the speaker's chamber. Okay. We should join them. Oh, you're going to join us too, Chaska? Yes. Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, could you drop by as well, Traveler? I'd like to have a chat. Finally! It's about time you noticed us. I mean, it just took Kachina disappearing. For you to even look over in our direction. Rest assured, everyone, I'll keep the tribal chiefs informed on the progress of the investigation. You better. Once again, I apologize for the outcome of this ceremony. I don't accept. If there are no further questions, let's part for now. I don't accept your apology. Um, did she just ask us to come along? I have no idea. I believe she did. Let's go. I'd like to know what's going on myself. Let's find out. She didn't ask for Kadensh Joe, so she might kick him out. All right. The situation is urgent, so I'll get straight to the point. Kachina is undoubtedly a hero of Natlan, and I'm deeply sorry this happened to her. It has to be like somebody lied to her about having an ancient name. Like that has to be the situation, right? Like she thought she had an ancient name, but she really doesn't. And that way, because the, I guess nobody even really considered she would win, right? To go fight the abyss.
So maybe they're like, oh, she'll never win anyway. She's too weak. So we'll give her an ancient name just to make her feel good. But then she ended up winning and she ended up dying. And now like she's dead dead. Does that make sense? There's been unrest in the Night Kingdom, but I don't know what's causing it. As a result, I've been unable to track down her location. Well, you better go and find her. Okay, Google Maps. Until we find and address the cause of the unrest, the Ode of Resurrection will continue to be ineffective. And that means Kachina won't be able to come back? So we can't, nobody can go anywhere because anybody that goes now and they die, we can't resurrect them. That's correct. Not until the problem with the Night Kingdom is resolved. I got you. How long will that take? It's hard to say. Kachina always dreamed of fighting the Abyss. Of doing her part to defend Natlan. She wasn't afraid of death because she knew, if it came down to it, the Pyro Archon would be there to bring her back to life. Whenever we sat down together, exhausted from training, she would always hum the Ode of Resurrection. It's a good song, I'm not gonna lie. She was supposed to come back to us. We were supposed to hug her and celebrate with her and share her joy. Oh, look at her little cutie patootie. You better go get her. We, we gotta find her. her every step of the way. We're gonna but find what her. What are we supposed to do now? We're gonna find her. Sit peacefully and wait for her return? Lose ourselves in grief over her death? Tell me, are we her friends or her murderers? Ooh, Mulani. That's not fair, Mulani. It's all right. I understand your rage and your grief. Kachina's life means a great deal to me, Mualani. Believe me, I want to bring her back as soon as possible. I would give you that peace of mind if I could. Then do something! But please, hear what I have to say so I can at least give you a broader picture of the issue we are now facing. Considering the recent attack on your tribe, I believe the Abyss has found a new means of undermining the rules of our nation. Oh no. You mean... Yeah, it's the Abyss's fault. The Sacred Flame. The foundation of our resistance against the Abyss. If we continue to hold the pilgrimage and send teams to fight the Abyss, there will likely be more casualties. But if we stop altogether, the Sacred Flame will only grow weaker. The Abyss will scale up their attacks, and the tragedy we saw with the people of the Springs will only be the first of many. All right, I see where she's going. Abyss are getting smart is what they did. If we compare the two choices, the former seems to be the lesser of two evils. <sighs> Sorry, I know that may sound harsh, but I bear the name Malipo. Weighing the costs is my duty. The raw truth can be cruel. But we need to understand it if we want to approach this rationally. I love how everybody's eyes are just so different. Like, I'm Mulan, he's got fish in her eyes. She's got like sunburst or whatever. And his are just like that green, yellowy color. Oh, it's so good. Like a gradient color. Just love their eyes. But what would you say, Mulani? This is personal for you. And unlike Kanich, I dare say it's not a simple case of weighing up which course of action is less painful, is it? No. I can't choose between them, and I don't want to. Saying that one is preferable over the other is disrespectful to the people who suffered. Hmm. I love Mulani! It doesn't matter whether I suspend the pilgrimage. The consequences will be equally painful. Right, yep. Yeah. Yes. What happened to Kachina breaks my heart. But I couldn't bring myself to sacrifice other people for her sake. And that is the crux of the problem. <sighs> it's not simply a matter of choosing the lesser of two evils. Either way, there will be people who suffer. And the end result will be the same. Belief in the pilgrimage will waver. Once doubt has crept in, the people will no longer unite in battle against the Abyss. And that is exactly what the abyss wants so what are we gonna do now what are you gonna do what are we gonna do their ultimate goal isn't to break the rules that make the ode of resurrection work it's to destroy the people's faith in them to prevent what happened to kachina from happening to anyone else we need to suspend the pilgrimage so that is my current plan and in the meantime i've made efforts to strengthen each tribe's defenses okay then we have to find another way of strengthening the sacred flame to keep the abyss at bay. 
This won't be easy. I'll need time to figure out the best approach. How much time do you need? I understand your anger, Mualani. But I hope that provided some clarity, at least. Wow. Hyman thought things were gonna get heated for a second, but the Pyro Archon took the time to explain everything so patiently. She did. I owe you an apology, Archon. I let myself get carried away earlier, and I'm sorry. You're right. We need to focus on finding solutions. Don't apologize for how you feel, Mulani. We could always hold the pilgrimage without sending a team to fight in the Night Warden Wars. That way, we would still be able to fuel the Sacred Flame. I've considered that, but the two events have nearly always been linked. So just don't send them off to the wars. I like her idea. Chaska's got a good idea. Without the chance to fight the Abyss, pilgrimage rankings lose their prestige and competitor numbers will drop. With fewer participants, the amount of contending fire produced will decrease and the vicious cycle will continue indefinitely. But it'll at least hold us over for a while. So essentially, the Abyss is taking Kachina hostage. What happens if you stay in the Night Kingdom for a long period of time? Do I want to know? You've learned about the concept of ley lines during your travels, yes? The Night Kingdom is something similar. Great! Staying there for a short period of time shouldn't have an effect on the person. But with the Abyss in the picture, it's a different story. Your sense of self will be devoured until eventually you become one with the sea of souls. Oh, uh, we are not gonna let that happen to little baby Geo. Imagine pouring a cup of water into a rushing river. You can try to scoop up another cup, but there's no chance it will be the same water you had before. I won't sugarcoat it. That is the danger Kachina is currently facing. Okay, but we're standing here just BSing. Just like you said, Archon, both of these problems need to be addressed. You can focus all your efforts on dealing with the Sacred Flame. I will go search for Kachina. Yeah, we'll join you. The Abyss poses the same threat to you as it does to her. It is very possible you will not return. Knowing that, do you still choose to go? Is everybody in Natlin gonna die? Kachina's waiting for us to rescue her. That's all that matters. I failed to protect her during our campaign, but I can make it up to her now. I choose to go as well. Let's go, Chaska. Um, Traveler, what do you think? What do you mean, what do I think? Is it even a question? This isn't This isn't how it should end for her. I promise she would have the chance to learn from me. Understood. That's right. Then I'll support you in any way I can. The Masters of the Nightwind have a technique that can extract an ancient name from the ley lines. If we can find Kachina's ancient name, I can use the link between them to pinpoint her position within the Night Kingdom. Okay, okay. Then comes the hard part. You need to visit the Night Kingdom in person and rescue her. No problem. But isn't the Night Kingdom a land of souls? Can we even go there? Under normal circumstances, only the consciousness can enter. But there is a way to go there in person. However, know that the Night Kingdom will attempt to repel you. And the Abyss certainly won't leave you be. That's fine by me. Yeah, me too. Same here. Fighting the Abyss is nothing new for me. Yeah, us either. Trust me. It uh, won't be a problem. So, uh, Paimon's the only one who's scared? Well, you can stay. Well, if you're going, Traveler, Paimon's going too. I mean, you're welcome to stay if you'd like to, Paimon. Seat Lolly of the Masters of the Nightwind once created an artifact that can be used to communicate with the Wyav. We call it the Spirit Speaker Stone. Spirit Speaker Stone. It was originally used as a ceremonial artifact wielded by the tribal chiefs. But that spiritual quality also means it can be used to search for an ancient name. That was the artifact I delivered to the Scions of the Canopy a few days ago. Didn't think I'd be hearing about it again so soon. So we gotta go get it. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. Your thanks are unnecessary. I will offer you whatever aid I can, but your fellowship and courage are what will truly decide the success of this operation. How come Ian-san hasn't, hasn't said a word? <laughs> Besides, you're the ones helping me. I can only focus on one thing at a time, after all. <sighs> Traveler, I 
certainly didn't expect our first conversation to be so serious. Well, that's nothing new. Every conversation we've had with every other Archon has been serious, so... I've heard all about your accomplishments. Ever since you arrived, I've been hoping to meet you and offer you Natlin's highest level of hospitality. We're famous here, too. Um, why? Why? Is that not what happened in the other nations you visited? No. No, that is 1 million percent not what happened. It's kind of complicated, but looks like we're really making a name for ourselves. Yeah, things were pretty complicated at the start. And, you know, in the middle. But our <laughs> reputation's solid nowadays. I mean, remember Inazuma? I do. <laughs> That's more like it. After all, I've heard you're someone who transcends fate. Oh, yeah, you know quite a lot about me. Man, how did you find out? Perhaps even more than you can imagine. Lieben tell you? But we can talk about that some other time. Okay. Ideally, this would be the perfect night for a drink and some musical ambiance. But there are important things to be done. I mean, I could use a beer. Oh, I almost forgot. Atea was wounded in the fight against the Abyss. Oh, yeah, she that's right. Us to give this to you. A talisman, wasn't it? It embodies fond memories and my strength of will. That's what she asked us to tell you. She said you'd know what that means. <sighs> I didn't think this day would come so soon. The flames of her life force. I can feel them flowing within the talisman. <laughs> if things were different... The two of us could have enjoyed the hot springs together while she gave this to me in person. We're supposed to be hot spring buddies after all. Quote unquote hot spring buddies. But don't worry. Can this we see Mabu week in the hot spring, a please? Deal to me. I'll take good care of it. And once this is all over, I'll pay Atea a visit. Okay. Atea might be dead by you then, though. You said you didn't want to jeopardize the production of Contending Fire. But that's not at all why you decided to suspend the pilgrimage, is it? You're right. Even now, the production of Contending Fire is far from sufficient. So it's not even, it wasn't even enough to begin with anyway. The gradual corrosion caused by the Abyss has resulted in a massive shortage of pyro energy. And we're currently at the breaking point. As things stand... The pilgrimage is a lost cause. Suspending it allows us to save our strength to defend the tribes. The Abyss has brought catastrophe to Natlan, and Kachina's disappearance in the Night Kingdom is a direct consequence of that. We can't let the general public know that. Hey! Finally, you're speaking up! No. If the public learned that Natlan's destruction was close at hand, there would be immense panic. But if I said nothing at all, they would have continued to question the integrity of Natlan's heroes. Another simple choice. The latter was clearly the better solution. But you chose otherwise. Mm-hmm. I have never subscribed to the belief that the right choice is the one with the fewest sacrifices. Let's go. There's still a way for the Sacred Flame to last a little longer. Let's go. You mean... Yes. Come with me. Where, where are you going? What are you gonna do? Is she gonna sacrifice herself? What the hell is happening? The sacred flame must never go out. Not only does it strike fear in the abyss, but it's also the pillar of Natland stability. I get that. So until our heroes are ready. I will sacrifice my power to keep it burning. But that can only last so long. She's going to sacrifice herself. On the remaining ancient name bearers. So she's going to sacrifice her powers to keep it burning. Don't let desperation cloud your judgment. Those chosen by the Wyab have already embarked on their destined path. But what if it is for them to wait, decide how that journey wait. ends, not us. No, 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 no. But if you give up your power, right? And then, and then let's say the abyss attacks while you don't have your power. You're screwed, lady. You can't do nothing. All we can do is support them. Even so, for you to make this sacrifice, it's not right. I agree. <laughs> if not me, then who? No other is capable of sustaining the sacred flame. 
I possess great strength, but I'm not above my people. This is part of my duty. Okay, let's see it. This is wild, dude. There's so much going on right now. It's the Fatui. Fatui? God damn it. Now what? What are they doing here? We got the a bit. Of oh Madeline. God. A force to be reckoned with. There he is. El Capitano, the, the first of the, of the Harbingers. It's no secret to me. Long have they been destined for ruin. Ooh! And since the oath made five centuries ago remains unfulfilled. Damn, girl! What use is the Gnosis in your hands? I don't know what you mean. But it sounds like this is about more than the Tsaritsa. In times of crisis, someone must pick up the mantle of salvation. Your plan has reached an impasse, and now it falls to me to create new rules for Natlan. Ooh. But before the dawn of a new age, the old must be destroyed. Whoa! I assume that's the end of your speech? Good. People like us? Let our plates do the talking! Oh god, they're gonna fight! Wait! Calm down! Time out! Hold on! Do you not know who he is? Oh, look out! Oh, ah, he! She just nuked him! animation is so good hang on let's just have a chat let's just talk about this oh he's fast Was he dead? Did she win? Oh, they're still, they're gonna get, they're gonna keep going. Okay, well. Oh, smoke grenade, poof. Ninja, vanish. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. Bro. Masters of the night wind. Send word. The captain and his followers must be apprehended. Yo! That cutscene was crazy! Are you alright, Archon? Holy shitballs, bro! Is that the first time we've actually seen like an Archon actually like fighting? Fighting, fighting, like trying to take on one of the Harbingers? I think it is. Bro, that was an epic cutscene, man. That animation was crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That's so good. That's so good. Wow. Capitano, man, that entrance, though. He was a formidable opponent. Exactly what I would expect from the first of the Fatui Harbingers. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I mean, we've messed with them before. He's number one. I never imagined someone could match you in combat. If the Saritsa sent him here, 
Why would he bring up what happened five centuries ago? Centuries? 500 years ago? Wait, wait, wait. That was when the, um, that was when the whole, um, Conria thing happened. Yeah. And how much does he know about Natlan? Probably a lot. The Harbingers are all driven by their own personal goals. The only purpose that unites them is collecting the Gnosis. Mm-hmm. And they have all of them. But I'm sure the captain has his own reasons for being here as well. Are you not going to give yours up? Whatever his motive, we should shift our focus to the Fatui. If they attack again and we're not prepared, we're done for. So now we got we got it coming from both sides, Fatui and Abyss. No, we're running out of time. The wound I inflicted should hold him back and weaken him for the time being. Besides, I'm sure you noticed. The power that came to his rescue just now came from the masters of the Nightwind. In other words, there are traitors among us. Dun dun dun! It's probably those two idiots from the crowd earlier. Not necessarily. This could prove to be a very valuable turn of events. When we exchanged final blows, I sensed an unusual presence within him. I'll need to investigate further. Kanich, go to the Masters of the Nightwind and look into who could have aided the captain. Speak to Seat Lali. She should know. That seemed like a cryo, like smoke. Almost like a, was it like a cryo smoke, smoke, smoke screen? Of course, I'll head out right now. Do you still intend to? Yes, but fear not. Well, if you give up your powers, what if he comes back and then you ain't got nothing? Natland's strength has never rested solely in its Archon. That was almost like a, f a Matrix fight. You ever seen like the Matrix with the last movie of the Matrix or whatever it was, the third one in the trilogy? And they're like flying through the air and all that stuff. Together we foresaw the only path that leads to our nation's future. We must trust in that vision now. Is everything okay, Archon? I have no idea. No, nothing is okay. Ah, uh, completely fine. Just lamenting the fact that I never got a picture when I could still turn my hair into flames. <laughs> ah, too late now. I just hope the others have a safe journey. Okay. Huh. So she gave up her powers. Why? All Capitano had to do was wait five minutes. She would have given up her powers if it wouldn't have been a fair fight. He, all he had to do was show up five minutes later. And that would have been done. Capitano would have won. Game stadium? over. Did something explode? It feels like the Archon unleashed her power. She must be fighting a formidable opponent. Oh, that's right. We don't know that he's here. Should we go back and check what's going on? Kachina doesn't have much time. Have faith in the Archon. She wouldn't lose in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Well, Once we find Kachina's ancient name, we'll head right back. Okay, let's just keep climbing. Emon really hopes nothing goes wrong. Yeah, well, uh, literally, all he had to do was, like, wait just a few more minutes. She would have given up her powers to keep the flame going, and Capitano would have... That would have been it. Game over, right? Like... Jessica. Why do these tribal chiefs all look so cool, man? Nice to see you again, Wyna. And they're wearing sunglasses. I'm afraid we don't have time for pleasantries, so I'll get right to it. We're here for the Spirit Speaker Stone. Yes, do you have it? Whoa, hold on a second. At least tell me why you need it first. Kachina! My friend Kachina is trapped within the Night Kingdom. We need the stone to find her ancient name and rescue her. Rescue her? From the Night Kingdom? Yes! That's right. You gonna help us or not? I'm sorry, but someone needs to tell you what you don't want to hear. Going there, a mature warrior would never make such a foolish decision. The nature of battle is unpredictable. You never know how it's going to end. Losing a friend is tragic, but when that happens, the best thing you can do is focus on how to prevent further casualties. 
He obviously hasn't heard of us. I appreciate what you're trying to say, Chief Wina. But if the price of maturity is abandoning a friend in need, I'll choose foolishness any day. If Kachina's still holding on, then so will I. Yeah, Mulani. I thought you might say that. <sighs> is something wrong, Wina? This doesn't seem like you. Life isn't complete without taking risks. That's always been your mantra. Yeah, what do you think now? <laughs> it's nothing. The Night Kingdom is a dangerous place. Can't blame me for checking if you were up to the task. If you're that determined, far be it from me to stop you. Here's the stone. Keep it safe, okay? It's not like we have a spare. Okay. We'll do what we can. Thank you. No promises, though. Huh. Seems like you two go way back. But aren't you from the Flower Feather Clan, Chaska? Oh, Chaska's a peacekeeper. So she's famous throughout the tribes. She's always the one people call to resolve conflicts. So we slowly got to know each other that way. Okay. Her younger sister, Queechee's always hanging around our tribe, too. Queechee. She's helped us out a lot in the past. Oh, you have a younger sister? Yes. I'll introduce you to her sometime. It'd be nice to meet her. Your eyes are beautiful. God, it's like I'm looking into the ocean. But let's get back to business. Wayna, how do we use the stone? As you probably know, your intended destination is completely different from the real world. The Night Kingdom is like a river flowing with concepts. And the ancient name you seek is like a tiny fish swimming downstream. Gotcha. In that sense, the stone is like a fishing boat drifting down the river. But the boat alone isn't enough. It's a good analogy. You need a fisherman experienced enough to steer it in the right direction. We couldn't do that ourselves? With a little practice, I'm sure you could. You have the strength and the talent. If you want to make sure this works, though, I could recommend someone to you. Yes. Who do you got in mind? Who? Yeah. Vichama, a Vichama. legendary warrior and scout from our tribe. Vichama. He's got a keen eye and a well-honed intuition. Even his ancient name means to seek. If hmm. you're fishing for a name, you're going to want him on the boat. Okay. Vichama? Why does that name sound familiar? Have we heard that name yet? Am I just spacing out? He's one of Auntie Atea's hot spring buddies. I've heard stories about him. Where can we find him? Ever since Malco passed, he spends most of his time gazing out at the scenery from the clifftops. Follow the path that way, and I'm sure you'll find him. Dude, Nalan is so freaking pretty, dude. I love the environment. It's it's so like just culture rich. The music, the design, the colors. You know what I mean? It's just it, it's straight up. It's art is what it is. Thank you. We'll go look for him there. <sighs> Good luck. I hope everything goes well. We'll find him. It'll be fine. Someone admiring the scenery from the cliff tops. Ah! That must be him! What's up, bro? I need your help. You gotta go do Hello some fishing. There. Are you Vichama? That's me. Did you need something? Okay, your voice does not match <laughs> your your character at all. I was not expecting a deep, deep, deep voice like that. That's me. Did you need something? No. You tell me about Kachina and the spirit speaker stone. Look at the windmill. What? You're saying you can bring someone back from the Night Kingdom. How is that even possible? No, if you really think about it, anything's possible in that kind of place. But that would mean... Yeah, your voice just doesn't match for some reason. I don't know, it's throwing me off. Are you okay? You don't look so good. Hmm. Mm hmm. Everything's fine. I'll help you, but I do have a small request. And that is? After I help you find Kachina's ancient name, I want to use the stone to look for my friends as well. Okay. Your friend? Oh, why not mention someone named Malco? Is that who you're talking about? Yes, but I'd rather not get into it if it's all the same to you. Okay. Sure, it sounds a little sus, but okay. That's not a problem. We agree to your request. 
Yeah. Since you're helping us find Kachina's ancient name, it's only right that we return the favor. But you gotta help us first! Then we're agreed. Can I have a look at the stone? It's a weird looking stone. It's almost like it could be split apart or something. He's deep in thought. Uh, I see. From what I can tell, it functions almost like an abyssal pylon. Both connect the Night Kingdom to the living world. Once the connection is established, the abyss will come surging through the opening like a predator honing in on the scent of blood. So we have to be sure not to use it in a tribal settlement. Okay. Wow, you got all that just from looking at it? So we need to go somewhere where no one is around. I just picked up on the basics, really. I still have no idea why it works. You said someone named Sit Lolly invented this. Sit Lolly. Must be a genius. You guys keep saying Sit Lolly. I'll go find an open area and start setting things up. In the meantime, I need you to get two things for me. What do you need now? We'll go right away. What do you need? First, I'll need some hook ropes. Pretty much every store around here carries them, so no need to go anywhere special. Oh, and I need to build a net out of them, so make sure you get a good amount. Okay. Wait, are you saying you're going to use a real net to catch Kachina's ancient name? How does that work when one's tangible and one's not? By creating something tangible in our world, like a net, we can create a connection to a corresponding concept in the Night Kingdom. Basically, I'm going to use the concept of a net to catch something equally intangible, an ancient name. Okay, I see where you're going with this. You're building a net here, but in there, it's not going to be a net, but you can still use whatever it is you built. I get what I get. What, I get where you're going. Oh, I it's like see. another dimension. What about the second thing you needed? Right. I need one. No, two chunks of obsidian. Once we bring the ancient names into our world, we'll need a place to store them. Okay. Normally, you can only get obsidian from the Children of Echoes, but I heard there's a traveling merchant from that tribe around here somewhere, so maybe you can try your luck there. Gotcha! All right, let's split up. See that clearing? Yep. Let's meet over there when you're done. All right, I'll oh, see you in just You can send someone with me if you want. In case you're worried, I might take the stone for myself. Well, will you? What do you think, Chaska? Will you take the stone for yourself? <laughs> There's no need. Lana spoke highly of you. Well, you never know. That means you're trustworthy. Mm, well, you never know. We think <sighs> that about a lot of people in this game. Even though that doesn't mean much to me anymore. Anyway, it'll take some time to set everything up, so no need to rush. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. See you in a bit. Don't go in there by yourself now. You wait for us. What an odd guy. He seems so defeated, but also really invested in the stone at the same time. Maybe he's got like an ulterior motive. I don't have any more insight than you, Paimon. Let's just focus on the preparations for now. Hang on, Kachina. We're coming for you. Yes. We're on the way. Hello. Do you have any hook ropes for sale? You better have like 50. Hook ropes? As in rock climbing equipment? Yes. Yes. How much for your whole stock? We gotta make a net out of oh, it. The whole thing? Oh, let me see. That would be 30,000 mora in total. Deal? That, that's cheap. Yeah, we got you. Deal. I'm surprised Paimon didn't speak up and be like, 30,000 mora? Blah, 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 blah. Wait, really? What, you want me to drive down the price? We just need these as fast as possible. Thanks. Oh, uh, no problem at all. I'll even pass along some information on the house. Ooh. These ropes are usually used by rock climbing enthusiasts. Uh, if you want to learn, Roka's the person you want to ask. All right, Roka. All right. That's everything. Here you go. Now we need the obsidian. Let's go talk to the traveling merchant Bichama mentioned. Ooh, that guy's wearing like an eyepiece. Excuse me. Do you sell obsidian? Why, yes. <laughs> I've got a chunk for sale right over there. I need two. I need two. Perfect. Is that the only one, though? We actually need two. You got any more? Hmm. That might be tough. Uh, tell you what. I'll take a look through these boxes over here, and, and we'll see what we can find. Well, hopefully you have another one. Thank you so much. We'll wait here. 
I have a feeling he's not going to have one. I have a feeling he's not going to have one. We're going to have to go look for it. Relax. Everything's going according to plan. I know. It's just... I could tell Vichama feels the same way about his friend that I do about Kachina. I hope this chunk of obsidian isn't the only one. I bet you it is. Kachina always carries all sorts of shiny stones with her. If I was the one trapped in the Night Kingdom, she'd have a whole pile of obsidian ready in a heartbeat. Well, would you look at that? Hey, I did well, bring an extra. <laughs> Here you go, young lady. We got lucky. Does it look? We got lucky. Perfect. Thank you. How much do I owe you? If you hadn't shown up, these stones would have just sat here collecting dust. I'll take 3,000 more of for both. That's a deal. That's a bargain. Here you go. By the way, I heard you mention Vichama just now. You were running an errand for him then? Something like that. How's he doing? Melko's been gone for five years now. It's about time he started to move forward. Do you know what happened between them? I heard about it in passing while I was out drinking one night, but I don't know all the details. Michama and Melko grew up together, and even made a name for themselves together. Okay. Melko was an amazing fighter, capable of knocking out multiple opponents in a single hit. Is he going to be playable once we rescue him? And analyzing the battlefield, the two made an excellent team and managed to beat back the Abyss several times. Five years ago, they both emerged triumphant in the pilgrimage and were placed on the same team to fight the Abyss. But on the eve of battle, the Abyss launched an attack on their tribe and Bichama suffered an injury to his leg while attempting to rescue someone. Then what happened? The team agreed that he couldn't fight the Abyss in his condition. Bichama didn't argue. He knew going to the front lines with an injured leg would make him a burden in battle. So they raised the issue with the Pyro Archon, and she agreed to let him stay behind. Okay. It's just... Melko and the others ended up facing hordes of abyssal monsters in numbers that far exceeded anyone's expectations. The team made an error in judgment, and they fell to the onslaught. So they all died. Vichama went into a deep depression. So this is one of those ish situations he blames where himself for everything. Yeah, yeah. So this is one of those situations to where the entire team died. So you can't resurrect them if you, if the entire team dies, no resurrection for you. It was an impossible situation. It doesn't sound like it was his fault. Oh, you're not wrong, but it's possible he chooses to blame himself. Not because he did something wrong, but because he wasn't able to do anything at all. I've tried convincing him to move forward, to stop uh, dwelling on the past, but the shadow of Melko's death hangs over him still. The abyss has caused so much suffering, and some wounds never heal. I wish there was something he could do to make himself feel better, but uh, anyway, that's the gist of it. Maybe you could help him talk things through sometime. I would really appreciate it. I have a feeling that we're going to be able to save Kachina, but we're not going to be able to save this guy's friend. Did you get everything? Yes. Yep, it's all here. When do we start? Here you go. I've made all the necessary adjustments, so we're good to go. So are we like going into another dimension? What is I've this agreed. place going to look like? I'll help you find Kachina's ancient name and then you return the favor. Can I ask you a question though first? Go ahead. Um, are you seeking your friend's ancient name for the same reason as us? Uh, yeah, after Malco fell, oh, I scoured the battlefield to see what happened. It turned out he wasn't bested by some impossibly powerful foe. He was dragged to his grave by the sheer number of enemies. If I had been there, I would have been able to sense the danger. I could have warned them not to advance. So you blame yourself. I've always blamed myself for what happened. But when you told me about Kachina, I realized there's a chance Malco might also be alive, fighting for survival in the Night Kingdom. Well, what if he's been in there too long? When did this happen? The guy said, what, five years ago? I mean, that's a long time. But that happened several years ago, right? 
The Pyro Archon said all life within the Night Kingdom eventually becomes one with the Sea of Souls. It's exactly what I just said. There might not be much hope, but I still have to try. Malco and I promised each other, even if we never managed to root out the Abyss for good, we would fight together until the end. All right, let's get to it. I'll start searching for the conceptualized version of Kachina's ancient name. If you see any fragments scattered around the area, please collect them. Okay. Make sure you prepare yourselves for battle. As I said, the stone will link the mortal realm to the Night Kingdom. The Abyss will likely emerge in response. This is a little terrifying. I'm, 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 I'm a little scared. I'm not going to lie. Collect the ancient name fragments? fragments be Chama mentioned. What? Oh, God. Is Raiden showing up? Yeah. No problem. How much longer, be Chama? Not long. We're getting close. Well, hurry up. I ain't got all day. I just need one more. There we go. All done. Are you okay? We're done. You can stop now. Quick, take it. Oh, it's Kachina Stone. It's her thing. Her name stone thing. I found her ancient Kachina's name ancient thing. Name. Yeah, that's it. Hang in there, Malco. Just a little longer. I have a feeling. I have a bad feeling. He's not going to find Malco. I have a bad feeling. Something's not right. The power of the abyss is getting stronger. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Somebody stop him! The abyss is corroding his body. Vichama, you can't keep going. You'll die. He's gonna die, isn't he? I should have died five years ago. Oh, no. I just need a little more time. Please, I'm almost there. Uh, understood. I'll help you by some time. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah, whatever. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, we're sucking the, the stuff out of it. Oh, watch out. The power of the abyss is strong. Oh, this is new. <sighs> Hang on, I got you, Pachama. I got you. This power. Hanging in there? Yeah, don't ask. Uh, I can't hold it back much longer. We're running out of time. I'll go. No, why this is can't intense. I find him? Why? This is intense. We can't wait any longer. Pull him away from the stone, Muolani. I already tried, but the power of the abyss has him in a chokehold. It's like he's tied to the stone with an invisible rope. Oh, this is bad. In that case, we have no choice. We're gonna destroy the stone. Sorry, Seed Molly. We're gonna destroy the stone. No, the tribal chief is gonna be upset. Get back. Chaska, wait. This is crazy. What is going on? Ouch. What happened just now? It looked like the spirit speaker stone was... Blown up. The stone's power was spiraling out of control. The only way to stop it was to destroy it. You were all caught in the shockwave of the explosion. You might feel dizzy for a while, but that's normal. Give us a heads up next time, will you? You're lucky we managed to dodge it in time. I thought I said to get back. Yeah, barely a second before you made it go poof. Not everyone has your reflexes, Chaska. We were this close to getting dragged into the explosion. Okay. I'll be more careful next time. No, you're fine. At least Kachina's ancient name is still in one piece. So what are we going to do with that? Wait, where's Vichama? Did he die? Did he spontaneously combust? Vichama! Uh, uh. Vichama! I couldn't find Mako's ancient name. It... Must be completely gone by now. Well, he had been in there for five years, so... Once your ancient name disappears, there's no coming back. From the very beginning, I knew there was a slim chance, but still... And now... <sighs> it's too late to save him. From the minute he left that day... It was already too late. Vichama. Hey, I'm sure he's heard enough condolences over the years. Let's just... Give him some space. Huh? What's that in your hands, Vichama? It looks like something's glowing. Uh huh? This is... What'd you grab? That looks like the obsidian, sort of. The hell just happened? 
Hey, Melko. Got any strength left? Oh, it's like a memory. Not enough to swing a sword, but to say a few last words. Sure. <laughs> Too bad no one will get to hear them. I never thought I'd actually die on this mission. <laughs> Not that I'm afraid to die. It's just hard thinking about my mom's face when she hears the news. Man, they're really trying to pull at your heartstrings in this Archon quest. Guess I have something to be thankful for then. My parents died a long time ago. They won't have to mourn me. <sighs> Pisak! <sighs> Always had to beat me at everything, didn't you? Right to the end, you were never one for goodbyes. Maybe you're right. Maybe no one will get to hear our last words. But just in case. What are you gonna say? Pijama. I'm so glad you didn't come with us. Don't be sad. Just keep on living. For the both of us. Poor guys got destroyed by some rift hounds. Got eaten. <sighs> Man. Do you feel better now? Don't cry, Vichama. You cry, I cry, and then chat cries, and then we all cry, and then we're all crying, and then we're all sad. Was that a memory? Seems like we were able to salvage something after all. Are you feeling any better? Of course. Seeing him, hearing his voice again, it makes me unbelievably happy. But... It also brings with it an even deeper pain. A deeper pain? Why? Malco was always the type to put on a brave face. But in that memory just now, his hands were shaking. And his smile was forced. Really? For all these years, I regretted not being able to fight alongside him to the end. And now I know, at the end of his life, he was thinking the same thing. Bichama. I'm fine. Actually, I heard Chief Wina wasn't really on board with your plan to go to the Night Kingdom. When you asked for my help, I hesitated too. I knew helping you find your friend's ancient name meant leading you one step closer to danger. But I also understood why you had to try. Everyone has regrets in life. But not everyone gets the chance to make up for them. Facts. True. Once allowed to fester, guilt strips us of our most valuable qualities as warriors. In that sense, we might as well choose the braver path from the very beginning. A more courageous way? You mean fighting while injured? If I could do it all over again, I would have followed Malco to the front lines no matter what. Even with an injured leg, there were still things I could have done. That way... Even if the outcome stayed the same, I still would have fought alongside him to the end. There are critical junctures in life, and if you don't seize the chance to act, there's no going back. Very true. Sp spit those facts! That's something I had to learn in hindsight. But you're still at the crossroads of your journey, so... <sighs> I hope you can walk away without regrets. Thank you, Vichama. I feel even more determined now. Kachina will come back to us. I'll make sure of it. I promised I would find her, and I intend to keep that promise. So what are we going to do with her ancient name now? That's good to hear. <coughs> Is he going to die? <clears throat> My body, it's... Once abyssal corrosion enters the body, a portion will fuse itself to your internal organs. Even though the Traveler possesses powers of purification, the corrosion can never be fully eradicated. Thanks to him, though, you were only briefly exposed. Slowing your breathing and controlling your emotions should help you keep the symptoms in check. So pretty, man. This is such a good little scene. This has been really good. Oh, that does make me feel better. You seem very knowledgeable about all this. Just speaking from experience, that's all. Anyway, we've recovered Kachina's ancient name, so we're off to a great start. 
Let's get Vichama back to his tribe and tell Wine of the good news. I feel like these Archon Quests Act 1 and so far in this one, there hasn't been like any kind of filler type dialogue or any kind of like like a lull in the dialogue. There's there's something going on, you know, like there's a direction. Do you know what I mean? Oh, um, and apologize for destroying the spirit speaker stone. We had no choice though, so he'll probably understand. Mm, right? I don't think he's gonna understand. I think he's gonna be pissed. Now where? Mm. Who are you? Oh, you're the sister. You're what's her face's younger sister? <sighs> Kuichi, are you really gonna just stand there like that? I don't know what you want from me. I think you know exactly what I'm trying to say, Uncle Wina. I can hear it in your voice. Oh, she's angry. Honestly, it's just one thing after another with you two. Huh. They're back. We are. Sorry, we broke your, your we broke your stone. Kuichi? What are you doing here? <laughs> Don't play dumb with your own sister. You know exactly why I'm here. My apologies, everyone. I just need to borrow Tasca for a few minutes. You come with me. No, oh, she's she's real angry. What what Chaska do? <sighs> I'll be just a moment. Okay. Just no cat fighting. Who is that? It's her sister, remember? Kuichi. Chaska's younger sister. Although the two aren't actually related by blood, it's oh. kind of a long story. She did call herself Chaska's sister just now, but it feels like there's more to the it's story. It's not really my story to tell, but I guess it's not a secret. You see, Chaska was actually raised by cuckoo sores. She was afflicted with a rare disease when she was a child and abandoned in the wild as a result. The Abyss found her out there, all on her own, and tried to devour her. But in the end, all that did was trigger her will to live. Hmm. That strength of will pushed her to survive, but it also planted a seed of conflict within her. Eventually, she was adopted by the Cuckoo Source. Wherever they went, she followed, getting into fights right and left. Can totally imagine that. <laughs> well, when Chaska finally returned to human society, it was Quichi's parents who adopted her. At the time, Chaska still had a habit of getting into fights, so Quichi was always taking her around, apologizing to everyone. Ah, I remember those days. One of those fights was definitely with me. But, you know, kids, you're fighting one minute and your friends the next. Yep. Exactly. Eventually, she found a way Very to rein in that desire to fight. And now she's who people call to resolve conflicts. She's known as the Peacemaker. Peacemaker. It sounds like she still argues with Koichi, though. Don't siblings usually stop fighting when they get older? Oh, yeah. <sighs> That's partly my fault. Koichi asked me to stop Chaska from doing anything dangerous. But you probably know by now, once Chaska makes up her mind... There's no changing it. Well, then she's mad at you. Why is she mad at Chaska? Oh, I get it. No wonder you tried to talk us out of going to the Night Kingdom. Chaska even said that wasn't like you. I'm all for your adventure. You need to take risks when you're young. Because by the time you're my age, you couldn't attempt something like that even if you wanted to. Better try now than live with regrets later. That's what I say. Still, I can understand where Kuichi's coming from. In the end, nobody wants to sit back and let a loved one put their life on the line. They're going to have an argument. What are they arguing about? All right. It's just the two of us now. You have one minute to explain yourself. Better use it wisely. I don't have anything to say. You don't have to approve, but you should know I only do what's necessary. That attitude is exactly the problem. It's like you don't care. You try to sneak off to the Night Kingdom behind my back and then play it down as if it's just a trip abroad. Well, technically I am going abroad, right? <laughs> wow. Again with the excuses. <sighs> we agreed, didn't we? There are four levels of danger. If it's not something urgent, you can only engage in level two danger and below. You can only go up to level three if a situation is so dire, there's absolutely no alternative. And what's level four? But a trip to the Night Kingdom? If that's not a level oh. four, I don't know what is. 
And you were just going to sneak into the place without saying anything! Well... Uh... What do you mean, sneak into the place? I always planned on walking in there with my head held high. You bought off Uncle Wyna, didn't you? He promised me he'd stop you from doing anything dangerous. Oh, it's like he didn't even try. <laughs> she is angry as hell. You feel like he went back on his word. What if I told you my mind was made up and there was nothing he could have done? Not even by force. Oh, I knew it. So he did try to say something, but you didn't listen. Her voice acting is really good right here. This is important. If you were in my shoes, you'd make the same decision. You don't know that? I'm a doctor, and I handle logistics. If you're going to waltz into a dangerous situation where you could lose control at any moment, it's my duty to say something. She's going off. All right, whatever. Anything else? Oh, you... What do you mean, anything else? Why don't you reflect on what you've done and promise me you'll stay put? Time out. Is this one of our normal arguments or a serious one? <laughs> Chaska, does it sound like I'm joking? Then... You need to know something. What happened to Kachina was partially my fault. I can't leave her there to die. That's not who I am. We gotta save baby Geo. But the person you become when you lose control, that's also not who you are. That's a different issue. You said it yourself. A person is only as good as their morals. If I want to live in Natlan, I need to display qualities that make me worthy of this nation. And these two birds are arguing with each other, too. That's funny. I've also told you that managing your condition is equally important. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. <sighs> All right, let's stop this here. If we keep going, I might actually have to get serious. And I think Wyna prefers his roof attached to his house. Are you, are you threatening her or something? That sounds like a threat. Is that a threat? That's what that I said. That sounds like a threat to me. That's exactly what I said. You might be my soulmate. <laughs> uh, Koichi! Uh, younger sisters are supposed to listen to their elders. Uh, so, you're really going to go, no matter what I say? I'm supposed to be your sister. Then support me. I'll be back. All you have to do is wait. Uh, Chaska... So, that's it. Why'd you have to turn out to be so darn annoying? That's what family does. They're annoying, that's for sure. Uh, you two are something else. Think tight. Something you wanted to say? I know you aren't related by blood. But you two sure are similar. Really? You know, I said that very thing to Kuichi not too long ago, and she reacted the exact same way, down to the very tone of voice. We still haven't told him about the stone being broken yet. It's not my place to get involved, but I will say this. Try to spend a little more time with your sister. You're tough kids. That doesn't mean you have to go it alone. Thank you. Anytime. All right. If you're done with the spirit speaker stone, you might as well hand it over. Um, what stone are you talking about? According to Kinich, it's an important ceremonial artifact, so it'd be safer to keep it with me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, about that. <sighs> if only Tone Gift Bard was here, he could have repaired it just like the Holy Liar. She's still calling him Tone Deaf Bard too. Oh my god. It might be in a few more pieces than you remember. Uh huh? Yeah. Uh, not my. Not, not, it's not our fault, though. Yeah, there you go. I see. Mm. Sounds like it was an urgent situation. It was. If someone's life was on the line, then you had no choice. Still, Seat Lolly's going to be a nightmare to deal with now that you've broken her stuff. Sorry. I'll explain everything to her later. Who is this Sit Lolly? Stay safe out there in the Night Kingdom, okay? I'll wait here for your safe return. We'll be back, don't worry. Mabuika, we're back! From our mission, that was easy. We're back! We found Kachina's ancient name, too! 
Yeah, yeah. What happened at the stadium? Well, it's fairly complicated. Let me give you the condensed version. Condensed version. Yes. TDLR. TLDR. TLDR. Give me the TLDR version. You learn of the power of Archon's battle against the captain. That's what, oh, that's right. We didn't, we didn't get to see we that. We can't go anywhere or without they them causing trouble. But what if the Fatui finds out you've lost your power? Won't they try to take advantage of the situation? That's what I said. Capitano literally only had to wait like 30 more seconds. <laughs> that's why it has to be our little secret. No one else can know or we're asking for trouble. Lips are sealed. Look, I wish I could offer you some sort of consolation, but I won't lie to you. With multiple factions closing in, there's nothing comforting about the situation we're facing. So what do we do? Still, all you need to do is focus on your goal. You can leave the complicated matters to me. Okay. I can also step in on the Pyro Archon's behalf. There's a limit to what I can accomplish, but I'll help you however I can. <laughs> There's no need to be so modest, Ian-san. Ian-san's so incredible cute. incredible strength has long been a well-known fact. You're the pride of your tribe. Archon, I... I'm sorry about before. You have so much on your plate. So much that you have to worry about. But all I could do was focus on my own feelings. Don't be sorry for, you know, expressing yourself. You have or nothing feeling that to way? be sorry about. Exactly. We all get overwhelmed by our emotions, myself included. Your reaction to Kachina's disappearance, I... I understand that feeling very well. Exactly. Well, now that we have Kachina's ancient name, let's go track her down. Follow me. All right, let's go. I'm ready. Don't know what the hell we're going or doing, but okay. So am I going to pop out? No, I, I was waiting on like some kind of sussy character to walk in. Hello? What oh. is this place? Is this where she lives? Hey, isn't that Atea's talisman? Oh yeah, hey! <laughs> Good eye. This is where I store all the various mementos I've collected. You're a hoarder. Wow. I've never seen this place before. There's so many things in here. It's like from the Little Mermaid. Remember? Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? She's Ariel from Little Mermaid. It looks like there are items from every tribe. Collecting them must have taken a lot of effort. I suppose you could think of it as a hobby of sorts. You're a hoarder! In Natlan, everyone grows up listening to the stories of heroes. That's all there is to it. You're just a hoarder. And physical items I get do it. a far better job of preserving those stories than our own memory. <sighs> now, I still have some preparations to make for the ceremony. So feel free to take a look around in the meantime. Okay, thanks. If you're curious about an item, I'm more than willing to tell you about its origins. Ooh, lore. All right, we'll have a look. We're going to get into some lore. Hey, there's a fishing rod here. It must have belonged to the people of the springs. That's right. It belongs to a legendary fisherman named Matavaru. Matavaru. I have his entire set of fishing equipment, actually. Why? How? And I met in a tavern. Oh. He told me about a particular kind of giant fish and his meticulous plan to catch it. The Kraken. In his eyes, I saw a hunger and a strong fighting spirit. To him, the sea was the battlefield upon which he staked his honor. So, did he do it? He was looking for Moby Dick. The next time I saw him, he was covered in scars. It turned out the fish he sought had been corroded by the abyss. He managed to kill the fish, but sustained a serious injury in the process, which meant he could never go deep sea fishing again. Man, the abyss is just hardcore over here in that one. Can a fisherman claim victory if he fails to bring back his catch? Her eyes, dude. That's what he asked me in the end. I think her eyes are the best part of her character design. I mean, I like her outfit and everything like that and the hair. It's her eyes, man. Like those sunburst eyes are just phenomenal. Well, Paimon thinks he won. That was my answer as well. 
The experience was far more valuable than the prize itself. In the end, he didn't want his tools to go to waste, so he gave them to me. Wait, that means you also know how to fish. Do you know how to fish? <laughs> Maybe we can go head to head sometime. Bring it on! We fished Paimon out of a pond. Like, a long, long, long time ago. So if we can catch Paimon, we can catch anything. Alright, let's look at the talisman here. This is Ateo's talisman. Uh-huh. I'm sure you're familiar with this one already. Ateo was rarely ever without it. The talisman brought her a lot of luck in battle. Oh, can we use it then? That's like a WWE oh, that, championship that's belt. bigger than Paimon's head. Right? The collective of plenty are known for their bodybuilding competitions and contests of strength. Ugh. This belt is a symbol of great honor within the tribe. Okay, don't ever let me flex again. The association with strength might also have been the reason the original belt was extremely heavy. It was difficult for even two people to lift. And even if a warrior had the strength to put it on, wearing it for any length of time would still leave them gasping for breath. Sounds like it. That would suck. So the owner of the original belt, Katera, commissioned Katera. a craftsman to make a copy identical in appearance but far lighter in weight. That is the belt you see before you. Okay, where's the original? He would often wear this version when training in order to protect his waist. Or he made a lighter version so he could wear it all the time and show it off. That's what I would do. 100%. That's a pretty jar. There are base. so many jars and potions around here. Do they have anything to do with alchemy? No, those belong to the masters of the Nightwind. Their ceremonial tools used to amplify the ability to communicate with the Night Kingdom and the Wyab. Okay. Yamaya is an expert in this field, and she taught me a lot. Even though she appears stoic and serious, she actually has a keen sense of humor. The tools you see here are quite traditional. Her students found them outdated, so she passed them on to me. Well, that was nice. The contents of the jars aren't all that special. Oh, uh, except the big jar in the middle. That's what you really wanted to give me. That looks like somebody, like if you were to cremate somebody. You know what I mean? That's where you put their ashes. Ooh, must be something really cool. What's inside? She's going to be like a dead person. Grape juice. <laughs> grape juice? Really? <laughs> Why grape juice? Huh? That's what I said. <laughs> it's quite tasty, although probably expired by now. Grape juice. Well, I'm sure it's fermented. It can, maybe it's wine. Alcohol. Whoa, this weapon is huge! Which tribe did it belong to? Ah, that weapon belonged to Tainoch, a Tainoch. hero from 500 years ago. 500 years ago! Strictly speaking, he didn't belong to any single tribe. That's because even before the disaster with the Abyss broke out, he had already been exiled. Exiled? To it where? Was a punishment imposed out of necessity, but he accepted it all the same. He believed it was what he deserved. When the Abyss attacked, the tribes found themselves in urgent need of a powerful figure to lead them into the battle, and there was no one more courageous or resolute than him. He united the six tribes and accomplished great feats throughout the war. Ultimately, he perished. Oh, Sam. And because he had already lost his ancient name, the Ode of Resurrection was unable to bring him back. Well, rip to this guy. And so, he was laid to rest, alongside the countless warriors and civilians who lost their lives, buried in the soil of his native land. Wow. He sounds like a true hero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Even now, his story is told throughout the land. He's a legend. The powder still needs some time to settle. Okay. So let's wait a little longer. What kind of powder are we talking? Are we talking gunpowder? Are we going to blow something up? Well, what do you think of my collection? Do you feel like you have a better understanding of Natland's culture now? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Y'all are hardcore. It represents a different story. Seems like Natland's really been through a lot. Does every item hold a special memory, just like Atea's talisman? That's right. 
The items in my collection actually serve a similar purpose to the ancient names passed down among the tribes. They demonstrate the true shape of time. The shape of time? Uh-oh. Okay, I'm focused up now. We're talking about time. So... Most people perceive time as a linear concept, almost like a straight line that can only move forward. We cannot change the past or predict the future. But there's also a different theory, one that I believe to be closer to the truth. Namely, that the past, present, and future all exist at once. Dun dun dun! This might be a big deal. Her saying that. At once? Paimon's not sure she understands. Time compression. Uh, let's say your journey ended right now. Thinking back on your experience in each nation, which one would you say was the most important? Well, I, uh, I mean, I'd have to say all of them. Exactly. Even at the end of your journey, the things you experienced along the way don't cease to exist. They become part of who you are. Okay. Take out a portion of that journey, and you would likely make very different decisions, and eventually arrive at a very different destination. The future is the same way. It exists even though it has yet to come to pass. We just lack the means to perceive it. All right, you're hurting my brain, Mabuika. Of course, there are those with the power to foresee the future. They simply call it by a different name. Fate. Luma Fate. <laughs> you're quite familiar with that concept, I would imagine. Yes, there's a loom. A fate. Uh, that does kind of make sense. The future hasn't happened but already exists humanity excels at living in the present but too often we forget the past and neglect the future so ancient names record the past while the pilgrimage and the night warden wars lead us to a better future well look what's going on now not so much anymore only by uniting the people of Natlan across countless eras can we fight back against an enemy as formidable as the Abyss. To come up with such a set of rules, the first Pyro Archon must have possessed a level of insight I can only imagine. So the first Pyro Archon created the rules of Natlan. That's correct. At first, he was a mortal man with no special power. After he ascended to the Divine Throne, he used it to borrow power from the heavens and establish the rules of Natlan. Okay. Namely, a framework through which ordinary people can ascend to Archonhood. By holding the pilgrimage, we're able to determine the strongest among us. And when that person ascends to the divine throne, their inner flame will awaken. Did you ascend to the divine throne? In addition, what was the up sacred there? flame will grant them significant knowledge and memory of this land. After all, that's how I came to know everything I just told you. So it all comes down to the power of the divine throne and the rules. Wait, is that a family portrait? What'd you find, Paimon? <laughs> yes, that's my mother, father, younger sister, and the little Saurians we raised. Why does this look like Yoimiya? Is it me, or am I seeing things? That kind of, sort of, not exactly, looks like Yoimiya. A bit. Like the hair, especially. I turned a piece of my dad's leather armor into a canvas and commissioned a famous artist to paint our likeness. Your sister is so cute! It looks like the two of you are really close. What happened to them? having a hard time thinking of an Archon as an ordinary person, but seeing this portrait, it kind of makes sense now. It really doesn't look like there was anything special about you before. Oh, wait, is Paimon allowed to say that? A little late for that question, don't you think? Sorry! Paimon's so sorry! Paimon's mouth works faster than her brain sometimes! That's true. It does. <laughs> it's alright. I'd never get upset over something like that. No matter what others may say, my past is a precious part of my identity. I'm forever proud of the life I used to lead. Becoming the Archon doesn't mean you sever ties with your family. The position just 
comes with a lot of responsibilities, so it impacts how often you get to see them. Do you get to see them? Where are they at? My father made the most delicious stew, so my sister would often bring me a large pot of his cooking, and we would sit on a blanket and eat it together. One time, we didn't close the door securely, and the Saurians you were raising ran into the room and knocked over the entire pot. My sister immediately burst into tears. The two troublemakers were going for the meat, but when they saw my sister's distress, they froze on the spot. What happened to them? I still remember the way they laid there, sulking like a pair of children, even after making such a mess. It was frustrating, but in the end, all I could do was comfort my sister and move on. Wow. Okay, you forgave them just like that? Isn't that what being a family is all about? True. <laughs> she ain't wrong. I think about that story a lot, actually. Where is your family now, though? As the Archon, I made a vow to defend this nation. And experiences like that, they remind me exactly what I'm trying to protect. Well, what happened after that? This portrait looks pretty old. Your sister must be all grown up by now, right? I believe she ended up working as an architect and artist. She built many houses and crafted many beautiful works of art. Anyway, that's enough about me. Now that the powder oh, is settled, okay. we can begin. Iansan, Mulani, Chaska, over here, please. Are we gonna like have a seance? We're gonna summon a demon. Place the ancient name up there, and then we'll begin. All right, let's do it. Kachina! Kachina, we're coming for you. We're on the way. Don't worry. We got you. Place the ancient name. I have a feeling this isn't going to work. I have a feeling this isn't going to work. <clears throat> Something's going to happen. Surely as the echoes of life resound through heaven and earth, so too shall our stories remain eternal. I have a bad feeling about this. Ancient name. Take us to your fated bearer. Allow her to answer our call. Hey, there she is! Kachina! Why is she a ghost? Am I hallucinating again? Kachina, it's us! Where are you? Kachina, are you okay? Huh? I, I'm not seeing things, am I? Is... Is the abyss playing tricks on me again? It's okay, Kachina. It's just us. We're trying to find a way to bring you back. Everyone, you have to listen to me. Okay, we're listening. What is it? I've been investigating the Night Kingdom this entire time, and I figured out what's wrong. The Wyab is being affected by the abyss. So the people who give out the names? I was waiting for the Wyab to send me back. But then this really strong monster came in and almost killed me. The Wyab saved me, even though its power is weakening. So I've been hiding from the monsters while trying to find a way to help. The Night Kingdom has become a huge mess, though. I keep hearing these awful sounds and seeing really horrible things. We're on the way, Kachina. Where are you? How do we get to you? Don't listen to those sounds, Kachina. The Abyss is trying to strip you of your sanity gonna drive her crazy all you need to do is stay safe and wait for us we'll be there shortly it's okay i feel so much better now that i've had the chance to talk to you guys you don't need to worry about me well you think you think we're just gonna leave you there are you crazy monsters almost trying to kill me and i'm going insane and that sort of thing we're just gonna be like okay she said don't worry about her so we're just gonna leave her yeah no mm -mm, we gotta save little baby geo here never been strong or special at all really oh stop so it I don't blame anyone for forgetting about me or leaving me behind oh stop it kachina just knowing you care is more than enough i'll i'll you zip that lip i'll find a way back you don't have to put yourselves in danger to come rescue me oh no we're gonna we're gonna put ourselves in danger you're always like this kachina now's not the time to act tough we're coming for you and that's final that's right I don't know what lies the Abyss has been feeding you, but I'll tell you something right now. Nobody here sees you as a burden. You're a victor of the Night Warden Wars, a hero of Natlan. All you need to do is wait for us to rescue you, and you'll get all the applause and recognition you deserve. 
Oh, don't cry, little baby Chio. You start crying, then I start crying, then Chad will start crying, and then it's just a cry fest, okay? Stop it. We are on the way. We gotta go rescue little baby Geo. Still, I don't want you to put yourselves in danger because of me. I don't want to hold anyone back ever again. Stop it! Shut up! All you need to do is place your trust in us. Just like you always have. No one fights alone. We're not leaving you behind. Not ever. Yeah, we're so close. We can't call it quits now. That's right. <laughs> Uh-oh. No! She can't go away. Well, crap. That's so sad. She's so scared and alone and by herself. What are we doing? Looks like we've lost contact. Now comes the most dangerous part. You have to traverse the Night Kingdom in your physical form. What are we waiting on? Well, yeah, at least she's still alive. We just gotta go find her. This entrance to the Night Kingdom was left behind after an abyssal invasion. Even a brief amount of time inside could expose you to corrosion. But I'm special. I can suck out the corrosion. I know. I'm prepared for that possibility. But does Traveler have a limit too to how much abyss that he can suck out of people? All right. Then I wish you all the best. I'll tell Koichi to be ready just in case she's oh God, very don't tell experienced her. in dealing with abyssal corruption. Don't tell her. She'll flip out. That face you just made. Don't tell me you two got into another argument. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I just feel bad for creating more work for her. I'll go with them too, Archon. The more people, the stronger the party. That's right. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. It really means a lot that you're willing to brave these dangers with me. And there's no time to lose, so let's get going. Now that I've lost my power, I won't be able to provide much practical support. But I can still keep an eye on the situation from here. Eon-san, I know it's unlikely, but if you encounter a situation you can't handle... What are you gonna do? Tell him to run? That won't happen. Ooh. I hope not. Let's go! I'm ready! The hell is going on in here? So we're underneath Natland right now? It looks nothing like Paimon was imagining. That's because in the distant past, Natlin was home to an incredibly advanced civilization ruled by dragons. Humans only established their own society after the fall of the dragons. So these are Saurian ruins? Are we going to see the Sovereign while we're in here? Or a Sovereign? I don't think she's talking about Saurians. I think she means actual dragons. Yes, she means actual dragons. Wait! You mean like the Elemental Sovereign? Yes, Paimon. They had their own advanced civilization? Yes. Yes, a really long time ago. Very few records have survived until now, so no one really knows what the devices here are for. These ruins have been abandoned for a long time, but with the recent increase in Abyss activity, the installations around here have somehow been activated again. So what you're saying is, we're not in for an easy trip to the Night Kingdom. No. <laughs> you expected no. it to be? It's going to be obstacle after obstacle from here on out. <laughs> uh, just what I wanted to hear. Bring it on. Um, why are you all laughing like that? It's creeping Paimon out. It's the pre-adventure excitement kicking in. Right, guys? Of course. I'm eager to get started. Adventurers live for moments like these. Then let's go. We won't let anything stand in our way. Let's go, I'm ready. Thank you for the follows, I appreciate you, thank you. This must be the entrance the Pyro Archon told us about. It's like a rift. One ripped open by the abyss. That's, yeah. Yes, there's something in the depths of this place that feels familiar, yet also foreign. I have a feeling we're gonna have to fight a lector in here or something. We actually have to go in there? Okay, Paimon just needs to psych herself up. You got this, Don't Paimon. Push her through before she's ready. You're good. We got this. No worries. Hey! You don't have to drag Paimon! You're pulling too hard! <laughs> Looks like we made it. This is the Night Kingdom. Oh, 
It looks so different from what I imagined in the stories. There's abyssal energy everywhere. Where, how are we gonna find her? Probably what trapped Kachina here in the first place. How are we gonna find her? From this point forward, everything we know about the real world no longer applies. Anything can happen here. Paimon's more worried about how we're gonna make it out. We obviously can't go back the way we came. We'll find a way. Do you see that patch of light on the ground? Mm hmm It's shining down from that fissure in the sky. Oh, yeah. Right in front of us. So that's coming from up there? Oh, it's so high up. Did we really fall that far down? Just like I said, our real-world knowledge doesn't apply here. We fell all this way, yet came out completely unscathed. It's like we're back in the chasm with, um... Zhao and uh, Ito and Kuki and all them again. If this was the real world, we'd have to climb our way back up to the entrance. But here, all we have to do is stand underneath the light and offer a prayer. Just that's it. Th that's it. <laughs> I swear, me and Paimon are on the same wavelength. I'm telling you, don't try it now. Don't try to run away. I really think that little of Paimon. So that means all we need to do is find Kachina and bring her to this location. Let's go get her. Exactly. How are we going to find this her? This light is streaming in from the real world. It's a link between the two realms. Are we just going to like walk around and be like, Kachina? Hmm. The terrain looks difficult to navigate and the visibility is not great either. How are we supposed to find Kachina in these conditions? Yeah, these floating black things don't look super friendly either. Oh, ghosts. Those are all manifestations of abyssal power. Be careful. Who are you? Ghost! Attacking ghost! What is happening now? What is going on? Calm down. I'm here to help. You're the ones who helped Vichama, right? Oh, are you her friend? You're his, or not her friend. His friend? Yes. What was Vichama's his name? Friend, Malcolm. Malco. I was completely lost to this realm until I sensed a mysterious power calling out to me. It's like it was seeking me out, attempting to reassemble the pieces of who I used to be. Of course, it could only do so much. I'm sorry I can only appear before you in this imperfect form. No, we should be the ones apologizing. If the Spirit Speaker Stone hadn't become corrupted by the Abyss, we could have done much more. But we had to destroy it. Otherwise, Vichama and his tribe would have been in danger. Of course. Thank you for protecting him. Do you know where Kachina is? I imagine that even after all these years, he'd still take such a risk for me where's kachina under the power of the stone it felt like our souls were connected i don't care turns out even our regrets were exactly the same we're talking kachina could be dying whether in triumph or death you want your best friend by your side exactly that may not be in the cards for us but it's not too late for you okay then tell us where she is you're looking for a young girl from the children of echoes right she's being chased by an embodiment of abyssal power then what are we doing here? Where is she? I'd like to help her while I'm still in this form. So follow me. All right, let's go. Be careful. This place has been severely corroded by the abyss. I'm ready. Uh-oh. This is bad. I don't like it. This is real bad. It's like the did, things from Harry Potter. Did you hear that? Did I hear what? What? Never mind. It was probably just my imagination. What did you hear? Don't scare Paimon like that! I heard it too. It was a voice from the abyss. What did it say? Uh, what did it say? It doesn't matter. It certainly doesn't harbor good intentions. What did it say? Was it talking trash? Let's keep going, Paimon! Journey lies. Are you talking about my journey is a lie? I see her. Rift towns. You better stay away from little baby Geo. What's happening? Why is it all like fuzzy? Oh, 
hell is going on down here, man? We're here, Kachina. Yes, we're here. Oh, honey. You made it. We did. Are you ready? Looks like our reunion will have to wait until we take care of these monsters. All right, let's do it. Good idea. Let's go. Let's go. You're here. You're finally here. I hate so, so much. Oh, can we hug little baby Geo, please? That monster can appear from anywhere. It almost caught me a bunch of times. The YF's power helped keep me hidden, so I just tried to stay out of sight until you got here. Had a girl. You did so well. It's so good to see Most you. Most importantly, you weren't hurt. Yes, let's get out of here. Should we start heading back then? Yes, let's go. Actually, I have a request. No! Will you come visit the Wyatt with me? Kachina, no. Now, look and listen. Come on. I can't exactly put it into words, but something's wrong with the Ode of Resurrection. And I know it has something to do with the contamination from the abyss. We can fix it later. Let's just get out of here now. That was the Pyro Archon's theory as well. Everything we've seen here certainly seems to back it up. In the Night Kingdom, there are six main totem poles representing the Wyab of each tribe. Okay. You can think of them like the body of each Wyab. Additional totem poles, like the ones around here, serve as proxies to which the Wyab can extend their consciousness. There are countless proxies scattered around the Night Kingdom. Through them, the Wyab can extend their consciousness over the entire realm and track down souls no matter where they roam. But if a proxy were to become severely contaminated, then a soul could become lost within the Night Kingdom. Okay, I gotcha. Judging by the current situation, I don't think we're dealing with just one contaminated proxy. Even if we could drive back the Abyssal power from one of them, that probably wouldn't even put a dent in the problem. Still, we can't just leave the Wyab to suffer. It's protected me this whole time. Saving one is better than saving none at all. True, facts. We might even manage to draw out the monster that's been hunting Kachina. Getting rid of the monster might slow down the deterioration of the Night Kingdom. Uh, <laughs> Kachina, don't worry. We got you. We got you. Kachina? We're here. What's wrong? N nothing. Uh oh. Just a headache. And that voice again telling me to abandon the Wyab and leave this place. Uh oh. Maybe we really should leave. Kachina's already been here for too long. I agree with Paimon. No, I... I'm fine. I don't plan on listening to that nonsense. I can hold on. Where's the totem pole? Just up ahead. I'll lead the way. Besides, I can still fight. So, please, help me out a little longer. All right, we got you. Listen to me, Kachina. We ain't going nowhere. We'll come with you. But that's because we want to help the Y up. Not because we have something to prove. You don't have anything to prove either. It's okay if you reach your limit. We'll be there for you. All right. The sooner we get this done, the better. We've already come Let's go. Way. Stop talking. We might as well try to get to the bottom of this. Let's go. Let's go. This way. Thank you. I'll stay here and try to stall the abyss monster. Uh, no one cares, Malco. You're a ghost. All by yourself? That's too dangerous. He's a ghost. He's a ghost, Mulani. It's all right. I may not be as strong as that monster, but I'm definitely more familiar with the area. Besides, I don't have much time left. If you're anything like my friend, I'm sure you're not particularly fond of goodbyes. It was nice to meet you, though. So go. Achieve your goal and return to the world where you belong. Thank you for everything. Yeah, thank you. You're a true hero. Malco, we'll let Bichama know. Okay, thumbs up. <laughs> thank you. No one fights alone. All right, let's go. Wyab? Wyab, I'm back. My friends and I are here to heal you. Yes, we are. Wyab, can you hear me? Wyab? Hello. Knock, knock. <sighs> so we were right. The contamination is already too severe. It's preventing the Wyab from answering our calls. All right, get ready, everyone. Time to purge the abyssal energy from this place. And I'll help too. I don't know what we're gonna do, but let's do it. Careful. Monster Keep time. Company. Bring it on. Who is it? Oh no. Is that a lector? Already? 
You really think that puny soul could slow me down? Courage in the face of futility is pure folly. He tried to get in my way, so I disposed of him. It's a pyro lector. You great. You he would have dispersed with or without me. Rather than worrying about him, I would urge you to focus on yourself. You may have defeated others of my kind in the past. You ain't gonna be no different. To meet me now, and it will be to your peril. You ain't gonna be no different. You the one behind all this? No. The power of the abyss is intoxicating. The destruction it seeks captivates like a masterful work of art. I strive only for the opportunity to see it up close. I thought this naive little girl was an exception, but it turns out humanity is full of lambs willing to offer themselves up to the slaughter. That is the tragedy of your short lives. Mm, you bring it on. And nothing of all encompassing power. And bring it on. Ancient names, pride, friendship, all empty ideas invented to give you a false sense of self worth. They possess no power at all. I don't like you. The Pyro Archon created those grandiose ideals out of pure selfishness. Anything to avoid sharing power. Anything to avoid handing over the primordial gift to ordinary people like you. Maybe he's telling the truth. Maybe Mabuika isn't what she seems to be. Don't believe me? Then ask yourself. Why is the Pyro Archon strong beyond measure, while you, Kachina, remain so pathetically weak? Don't talk to her like that! She'll shove that drill right up your ass! I... I... Kachina, give me your hand. The power of friendship, right? You feel that? I'm right here next to you. Thanks, Moalani. You're right. I have nothing to fear. Because I'm not alone anymore. That's right! Get him, Kachina. You're right. Maybe comforting ideals don't have any power. But you also couldn't be more wrong. You've never had to work for your own strength, so you will never understand the true source of our power. What? The courage we have to stand before you and not back down? It comes from our friendship. Power of friendship! The power lies not in the ideal itself, but in our commitment to upholding that ideal, and in our decision to stand together and fight! Well said! Yeah! Let's go, Kachina. Let's go. It Bring should it on, take more than punk. two of us to handle an enemy like this. Uh, it might take a little bit more than two. Sorry in advance, but you... You deserve what's coming to you! That's right! There aren't many in Natlan who can beat us when we're together. It's time he got a taste of that kind of power. Is it just going to be Kachina and Mulani? I don't know. Let's get it on. Oh, it is. Oh, God. Out of my game, nerd. Out of my game. So we won. We actually won. Get out of my game, loser. Nice job. It turns out he wasn't any stronger than the ones we fought in the past. Facts. That's what he gets Weaker, actually. That was easy. That was easy. Fantastic work, Kachina. Absolutely fantastic. That was an easy fight. This makes me so unbelievably happy. I'm happy too, Moalani. Together, we really are unstoppable. <laughs> now let's get oh. out of here. What's happening? Can we leave? It's her name, her ancient name. My ancient name is Glowing? Oh, it's your ancient I name. I thought I didn't bring it with me. It's probably a projection from the real world, but that doesn't explain why it's glowing all of a sudden. Why is it glowing? Wait, does that mean you're... She's what? That was a bold move. Diving headfirst into the fire to save your friend, especially in a place so overrun with abyssal corruption. Still, seeing you pull it off <laughs> was really something. You didn't help at all! Everything you said was exactly right. 
as isolated individuals, we stand no chance against the power of the Abyss. It took years worth of scars and lots of unnecessary suffering for me to understand that for myself. The Pyro Archon's plan will unite us as one. Everyone has a part to play. Only then will we have the power to defeat the strongest of foes. No problem. Who are you? Good question. Tupac, a warrior from the people of the Springs. I fought against the Abyss during the invasion 500 years ago. Tupac is alive? This is where he's been all this time. He's been down here in the Abyss. Bro, I love your albums. I still have some of them somewhere. I've heard that name before. You were the giant who saved all of Natlan. He, was he the one that we the, uh, that was talking about with the weapon that was in um, the, you know, the trinket room? Since you were able to awaken my words from your ancient name, that means you have fully embodied the aspirations of the Wyub. Okay. Under the name Umoja, you shall unite the tribes and save Natlan from its impending doom. Who? Mulani is? Umoja? M me? As long as blood still runs through your veins, even the tiniest spark of steel against stone can ignite a flame. Its blaze will become one with our vision for Natlan. Even amid everlasting darkness, our bonds remain eternal. Fist bump! Give him a fist bump, Mulani. Well, look at this! So, Mulani's gonna be, like, a big deal in this Archon quest, it sounds like. <laughs> Mulani, you okay? You're glowing. what happened what what do you mean did you just figure something out what just happened 500 years ago they foresaw the very crisis we're facing now efforts to save natlan started all the way back then Ooh, interesting we can go over the details once we get back we shouldn't linger here longer than we have to but wouldn't um Ma Ma muavika be a uh, like get jealous because they chose muilani and not her do you think I don't know. Does that mean you already know about this whole thing? I know bits and pieces, but I had no idea Mualani was also part of the plan. This sounds like something that's going to need a lot of explaining. Let's focus on saving the Waya first. Okay. Yeah, I need explanations of what is happening. Do we got to do another fight? Oh, no, we're just going to use our power of friendship. That's all. And suck out the abyss. What was I look from Traveler for? Okay, that should be enough. Why up? Why up? Can you hear me? I hear your voice, Kachina, my dear child. Great. Well then, I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye. I just wanted to make sure you were okay before we leave, but we can't afford to stay here any longer. I was going to ask why you bestowed an ancient name upon someone like me, but it's okay. I'll keep searching within myself for the answer. I'll never stop trying to improve my strength. One day, I'll live up to the hero you saw in me. Ask away, because I want to know too. You are already an outstanding child in my eyes, Kachina. No matter what happens. You are all my most beloved children. It has always been my honor to protect and nurture you. Your ancient name is just that. A name. Much like your parents chose to name you Kachina, I also gave you a name, but it need not define you. So you're just saying that's all it is? Just a name? It's, it's nothing like special? Focus on who you want to be. 
You are already worthy of your name. Now, you need only devote yourself to becoming a better you. The story of your ancient name is for you to continue. Just like your parents, my love for you will never change. No matter what the future holds. <sighs> Don't cry, Kajina. You cry, I cry, we all cry. <laughs> Thank you, I have... It gladdens me to see the Pyro Archon's plan move another step towards completion. But it is time for you to leave this place. The situation here is getting worse. Then let's go! go what are we waiting Chief. on? Save Natlan on behalf of all you hold dear. I know we've never met before, Wyab, but I just wanted to say thank you for encouraging Kachina. It was exactly what she needed to hear. Mulani might be on? new best girl. Now what are we doing? What's happening? We're run! Out of time. Get out of here! It's the power of the abyss. Quick, we need to run! Hurry up! I've been trying to say we need to get out of here a long time ago for the last 20 minutes. It's a Seely! The Seely opened the way for us! Okay. Seely, fly! Fly, you fools! Oh, it really is after us. Oh, oh. Run! Ooh, that's scary. Okay, we're going. I'm moving. Don't worry. I just wanted to have a look. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. Okay, stop flying. Ooh, okay. Shit's happening. Shit's happening. You better run. You gotta run faster than this traveler, okay? Get get on your high horse. Like, let's, let's go. We need to hurry or we'll be stuck here. Ooh, I'm going. I'm going. I'm running as fast as I can. Okay, stop yelling at me. Run, 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 run. Good God. Is it still back there? Oh, it's still back there. Okay, it's still coming for us. Did we get out? Did we make it? Hurry up! We'll never make it! Oh, we're never gonna make it. Ooh, Ian's on. Coming in clutch. Did we make it? Okay, that's different. Oh no, that's bad. You've done well. I thought now you come had home. How where did you get your powers from? Where did what happened? Where I thought she had given up her powers. Oh, she was monitoring us. That's right. She said she was monitoring us, right? And after she found Kachina, I guess she got her powers back. That would be my guess. She's like a rock star standing up there. I thought maybe she was holding a We're guitar. Back. I I don't know what just happened. But thank you, Mabuika, for rescuing us. I appreciate it. How did you do that, Mabuika? The Pyro Archon saved us. How? But she's not here. Where is she? Uh, how did she regain? That's my question. Yeah, didn't she say she used it all up? Yeah. She's still in the speaker's chamber. What we saw in the Night Kingdom was just her consciousness. Also, it wasn't real. So you're saying her consciousness did all that? Every great display of power comes at a price. <coughs> Kachina. <coughs> Kachina, you okay? You must feel terrible, Kachina. Just hold on. We'll get you to a doctor soon. Bind you! Bind you! Where are you? Let's get back to the stadium. The Pyro Archon said she'd have a doctor waiting for us. Is it Bind you? I recommend getting a full checkup. Just to make sure no damage gets left behind. Buys you when you need him. Hi, Mom 
everyone feels okay. What about you, Traveler? I feel fine. I feel good. Right. You always seem to do pretty well against the Abyss. Yeah, no problem. Let's get going. We need to share what we learned in the Night Kingdom as well. Right. The Wyatt mentioned something about the Pyro Archon's plan. What is it exactly? Don't know. We gotta ask. I'll let her explain everything. We're all a part of the plan now. The plan be planning. We're back to the plan. What we know, what that plan is, we're not gonna know. We're never gonna know. We're not gonna know what the plan is until the end. Nobody ever wants to fill us in on any plan. It's gonna be very vague, and we're not gonna know. Or they're gonna tell the characters in the game and be like, uh, "Mabuika explains her plan to the traveler." We're not gonna learn it as the player, and then we're gonna be in the dark the whole time, wondering what the plan is. Every move we make from here on out will decide Natlin's ultimate fate. Okay. Oh, yeah. Where did everything go? Her little trinkets are gone. Huh. There's a lot less stuff here than before. Did she have a yard sale or something while we were gone? It's good to see you all here in one piece. What happened? I know you must have a lot of questions, but let Koichi check you over first. It's best not to let any lingering effects of the abyss go untreated. Is she gonna yell at us? Thank Probably. Goodness you made it back. I came here as soon as the Pyro Archon told me about your plan. Take a seat, everybody. I'll examine you one by one. I feel fine. Despite the short stint in the Night Kingdom, Mualani and the others all have some degree of abyssal contamination. Okay. But thanks to Chu, hi, I can't you pronounce your name again. Chu Chu's. I can't remember how they pronounce it. Extensive experience treating abyssal contamination. The harmful effects will not be permanent. The, the treatment also relieves Kachina's system, systems, symptoms. All right, that should do it for now. But just to be safe, I'll perform another checkup in a couple of days. Thanks, good to see you. I have to say, though, I've never seen anyone react to the abyss like you, Traveler. It's like you're completely immune to its power. We're special. He always has been special like that. He can even purify its power. Wait, now that you mention it, Paimon doesn't think she's affected either. We don't know why, though. I think it's because you are the unknown god from the beginning of the game shrunk down, okay? You use your powers to trap my sister, and then you shrunk down. Just kind of like Ruka Devada. Don't say Ruka to who, because we all know who, but you know what I'm saying? So that, she is, I'm telling you. Given the current situation, that ability will likely play a great role in the events to come. Of course. I still have patience to see, so I'll head out. Bye, it was good to see you again. Thank you, Koichi. Koichi, that's how you pronounce it. All right, all right. We might not see eye to eye, but we both had good intentions. Just give it time. I'm sure we'll figure things out between us one day. You're not going to yell at her? Yeah. Is that it? All right. Oh. There's so much to discuss. I okay. don't even know where to begin. Let's discuss. You've seen it for yourselves now. The devastation in the Night Kingdom. Yeah, it's rough. I'll get straight to the point. Natlan is on the verge of destruction. It's very possible our nation has less than a year before total devastation. That's bad. Huh? N no. That, that can't be true, can it? Why can't we just evacuate and leave Natlan and just go live in Mondstadt and drink wine? That's right. But I've only ever disclosed that fact to the handful of people working with me to save this nation. Our looming destruction is not a recent development, but the inevitable conclusion of the disaster the Abyss initiated 500 years ago. Mulani told us a little bit about that. Mm hmm 500 years ago, all the nations of Tevat were invaded by the Abyss. Yeah, we remember. We know that. Yeah, yeah. Unlike the other nations, Natlan never had stable and deep-rooted ley lines, so we suffered the worst of the invasion. The battle against the Abyss was exceedingly long and brutal. In the end, victory came at the cost of our civilization and countless lives. Even then, it took centuries of solving the disasters caused by the Abyss to finally achieve the peace we know today. And still, this is but a superficial victory. The forces of the Abyss have merely been driven back underground. Their threat to Natlan remains as real as ever. I... I 
I'd never have guessed. The problems plaguing the Night Kingdom are all the more complicated because that realm is essentially functioning as Natland's ley lines. Oh, okay, I get it. All right. Because they don't have ley lines, right? So the Night Kingdom is basically one big giant ley line for them. Immediately after the war, our calculations estimated that we would have a maximum of 500 years before the Night Kingdom was completely lost to the Abyss. But at that time, we were a nation of the destitute. Our people no longer believed in victory, nor did they hold hope for the future. Our civilization was dying, our faith crumbling, and the line of power passed down from the Wyab nearly severed. If we didn't bring the nation back together, it would be foolish to even dream of defeating the Abyss in the future. So basically, you're saying we got to get the six tribes of Natlin together to defeat the, the Abyss. Basically, just like an all-out war. You know what I mean? So, the Archon had a long and involved discussion with the heroes of each tribe and finally came up with a 500-year-long plan to save Natlan. Okay, well, 500 years is a long time to plan anything. So that's what happened. After finding Gachina, I encountered a strange figure who gave me a series of new memories. Since the plan was mentioned in those memories, I guess I've been chosen to play an important role in it. You're gonna lead us. But there's still something I don't understand. Those memories showed me the Pyro Archon from back then. And it was you. Ooh! Huh? But that doesn't make any sense! The Pyro Archon is supposed to be human. It's impossible for a human to live that long. Ooh, well, they, well, no, that's not true because what Binti and, and and Zhang Li have been alive for like what hundreds and thousands of years or some shit. That's right. The hardest thing for humans to overcome has always oh. been time, or wait, rather, wait, the wait, wait, natural wait. limitations of our lifespan. Wait, wait, wait. That's right. They're not human, but they, but she is because they said they keep passing the power on. To humans. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. A god can extend a human's life by using a certain amount of divine power or subjecting them to a curse. Subjecting them to a curse sounds like somebody we knew over in Fontaine. But as we all know, Natlan doesn't have gods like that. We can only rely on our own methods. A human life is like a flame destined to be extinguished. 500 years ago, I placed my life within the sacred flame. Only by dying before my time could I have the chance to wake up again. So, in other words, this is your second life? What? Yes. That was all part we of the plan? We only managed to defeat the Abyss all those years ago because the tribes came together as one. So we gotta do it again. If the Natlan of the future was to have a fighting chance, the Pyro Archons that came after the war had to rebuild the decimated tribes. The goal was to reunite the people and restore the strength of each tribe's Wyab. Okay. Once a tribe was back to its full strength, the tribe's Wyab would select a hero, indicating the tribe was once again ready for war. The Chosen would then stand by my side in defense of our nation, just like great heroes of old 500 years ago. So that means... I'm one of the Chosen? It sounds like it, Mualani. How do you feel about that? That's right. You bear the ancient name Umoja, the same one held by the hero from your tribe 500 years ago. It means unity. So do we got to get five more heroes? We got to find five more heroes. This is what I'm getting from this. After your adventure in the Night Kingdom, I trust you've come to fully understand the meaning of that name. So in other words... You always knew who the Wyab were going to pick from each tribe? Yes. According to the plan, each tribe was supposed to have been fully restored by the time I awoke. But something went wrong along the way. Okay. There's a typo. Along, not alone. Along the way. Typo! The six heroes successfully inherited the ancient names from 500 years ago, but the intel regarding the plan wasn't passed on to them. Once again, it the plan comes be down to the deterioration of the Night Kingdom. Communication between the Sacred Flame and the Wyab has been blocked. 
just like how the Ode of Resurrection failed to bring Kachina back. Yeah. Exactly. It's just another tactic the Abyss is using against us. The Abyss may not possess intelligence, but its methods certainly aren't easy to counter. If we want to unblock that information from being passed on, my presence alone isn't enough. The ancient name bearer must establish a greater connection to their name. So, I've tried my best to help them from the sidelines. Okay. Currently, Shalonin of the Children of Echoes, Kinich of the Scions of the Canopy, and Iansan of the Collective of Plenty have all been acknowledged by their names. All right, so we got three, three heroes. Mualani, now, that's four. During your adventure, you too earned the acknowledgement of your Wyab Mualani. In the process, you gained the memories stored within your name. Okay, so that's two people left. Who are they? Well, we have less than a year. Yes, but we have no choice. We cannot start the plan until all the heroes have been gathered. All this plan and stuff. That's also why I haven't been able to take action despite the urgency of the situation. But if you knew this whole time, why didn't you just tell me about my role in all this? Wouldn't that make everything go a lot faster? Perhaps, but the opposite could also be true. Well, who's the other Knowing two? destiny I wonder. too early could mean failing to realize your full potential. Just like your determination to save Kachina, I hope your commitment to this endeavor comes from your own strength of will, rather than a sense of obligation. So I suppose you're not going to tell us who the final two heroes are then? Well, it could be you. You could become one. But then it'd have to be somebody that we haven't met yet would be the last one. That's right. Their time is yet to come. Putting pressure on them beforehand will only hinder their development. But what if they don't make it in time? I can only trust in the judgment of the Wyab. I have never believed I could solve this crisis alone. In fact, it was precisely because I chose to trust and rely on others that we managed to get this far. Natland's salvation lies not in its Archon or any singular individual but in us all. Does that mean you... You're quite perceptive, aren't you? <sighs> I thought I might get away with avoiding the topic. Huh? Oh, right! All the stuff you stored here before, where did it all go? She had a garage sale. Even though I sacrificed my power, I still needed a contingency plan to ensure you would make it back from the Night Kingdom. After all, I was the one who allowed you to take that risk. And Mualani has an important role to play in my plan. In addition to their sentimental value, the items I stored here held a much more important purpose. Fuel. Fuel? Fuel? Oh, so back then, that's why you... Yes. The stories embodied by those items are certainly important. But there's an even more significant trait they all share. Every item belonged to a hero of Natlan. Over time, they became imbued with a certain amount of contending fire from being carried in battle. On their own, each item's power is limited. But together, their combined effect can prove quite useful in a dire situation. So basically, you used them. By burning those items, I was able to activate the contending fire stored within them to open the boundary between the two worlds. It was a rather crude That's a big approach, brain. so... All their power was depleted in an instant, as you can see. That's 1,000 IQ play. But aren't they all precious treasures? What about their stories? <sighs> That's exactly why I dragged you all here. No matter what, I never wanted the Pyro Archon to have to use that power. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, don't be sorry. Stop apologizing. Everybody in this in this nation is apologizing stop apologizing you have nothing to be sorry for you all deserve my thanks actually if you hadn't saved the totem pole that area of the night kingdom would have been forever lost to the abyss and then it would only be a matter of time before the children of echoes was met with disaster besides when those heroes entrusted their belongings to me or the pyro archon of their time it was out of a desire to contribute to Natlan's survival. If they knew those items helped save the present-day heroes of Natlan, they would not mourn their loss. Even when you put it that way, I still feel bad. Oh, Kachina, stop feeling bad. <laughs> There's no need. Remember what I told you about time? 
The people and the events of the past are never truly lost to us. We simply carry them with us in a different form. In that sense, we didn't lose anything at all. If you still have regrets, let them fuel your resolve in the battles to come. Your deeds will become new legends and nurture new forms of power just like the items once stored here. Well, we'd still like to return the favor. Yeah, what can we do? Can we have a party? Can we finally sit down and have a drink? <laughs> well, if that's the case, just treat me to a drink sometime. I am in love with you. Yes, same wavelength. Let's go out on a date. I'm sure you got fireball shots laying around here somewhere. Like, I know you didn't burn that up. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's go to the bar. We can light up some fireball and we're good to go. Now that Kachina has returned, we can finally hold the victory feast and celebrate your team's triumph in the Night Warden Wars. And we could all use the rest, that's for sure. Plus, you'll be able to silence everyone who doubted you once and for all, Kachina. Oh yeah, let's go have a chat with those two guys. <sighs> Still, now that I know the danger we're facing, having a victory feast doesn't feel right. Try not to let it get to you. It's important to stay calm. Worrying about it will only affect your judgment. All right, you should head out. I'll join you in a bit. Sounds good. Uh-oh, now what? She's pondering. I don't like it. Is she meditating? What? What are we, where are we going? What are we doing? What's happening? What is happening? What is happening? That really looks like Inkinamiya right there, but I know it's not. When I was young, I used to sit by the hot springs and listen to the stories of warriors from all over Natland. Where are we? They attract people from all walks of life. Friends come easy here, no matter what tribe you're from. The people of the springs have never claimed the hot springs as their own private property. They are there to bring all hot spring buddies together. It's been really nice seeing the children of my tribe get older. It's helped me gradually understand the true value of the springs. I've witnessed their energy, their determination, their absolute passion for life. Ah, even when they cause trouble, I never manage to hold on to my anger for long. It's unbelievable how quickly they worm their way back into my good graces. I'm certain Mualani will become a great warrior when she grows up. She possesses infinite potential. I can see it. One day, when I'm no longer in fighting form, I'll come here and tell stories to all the children, just like those warriors did for me. Hmm, interesting. So, you better get busy, Pyro Archon, or I'll end up running out of stories. <laughs> They were like besties. Baba Week and Atea. What's she looking for? Oh, she looks angry. Sad. What is happening? Where are we? She's just I guess she's just in her in her mind, like in her like subconscious a bit. Our nation is engulfed in darkness. Our tribes stand divided. And yet you promise victory in the distant future. The Abyss is a cunning enemy. One that I faced in battle many times. Were that not the case, I would never understand exercising this degree of caution. My rage will never know absolution. Then my power will no longer aid you in victory. But you came to me because you knew you could convince me with just a single sentence. I understand your choice. The heroes of today will forge the path ahead with blood and fire. Just remember to earn us the victory we are owed. Otherwise, rest assured, I'll find a way to collect the debt. 
for Natlan. For Natlan! Everybody's fist bumping around here. That must be like their symbol for, that must be like their high fives. Fist bumps. Right? We're just walking, we're just taking a stroll. In her mind, I guess. So, you're gonna head 500 years in the future to serve as the Pyro Archon again? Oh, this is her sister and her mom. Ooh. But what about the you from right now? You're just gonna die? You can't ask her those questions and expect her to answer, my dear. The decision is hers to make, and she deserves our support. We will do everything we can to rebuild the tribes. Don't you worry. Even across time, we will all do our part to fight for Natlan's future. Yeah, Mom's right. We'll always believe in you, sis. Oh, seriously though, Dad should be here. Where is he? He went out for milk and he never came back. I, I imagine he, he didn't know what to say, so he chose not to come at all. Don't take it to heart, my dear. That's just who he is. Just remember, no matter what happens in the future, we will always love you. That's so sad. That's so sad. Why are you showing us this, Genshin? How can no. I find you one day? Yes, please do. I know I can't live that long, but I'll think of something. Oh, there has to be a way for us to meet again one day. If there's an answer out there somewhere, I'm gonna find it. Oh, sad. So, don't forget about me. Where are we going now? What's next? If that's your decision, then you have my full support, Archon. May our children live to see such a lovely son. For Natlan! For Natlan! No one fights alone. Just makes it seem like she's been through some rough, rough, the rules rough stuff. Are my legacy. They shall grant us the strength to overcome the next tragedy. War forged the six tribes, taught us how to fight, instilled in us what it means to love. Who will be the one to bring this to an end? This is interesting. We are the inheritors of memory and legend. Those who grew alongside sun and wind. It does kind of look like Inca Nemea. I mean, I know it's not, but... Those who forged our own destiny and future. That is Natlan's fire. The lifeblood of our nation. Now what? What are we doing now? That was interesting. Ooh, learned about some memories. Ah, let's go. Hey, Kuichi! You here for the victory feast too? Oh, no. I, I knew Chaska would be here, so I just came to deliver some medicine. I was about to leave, actually. Where are those two douchebags from earlier that were giving Kachina a hard time? But, uh, it's not that I don't want to celebrate Kachina and the others. I'm so glad she made it back. It's just... Well, I'll make things awkward if I'm around my sister right now. Ah, well, you two had a fight, so Paimon can understand. She didn't cause any trouble during your trip, right? No, she's great. Of course not. Yeah, she was super helpful. She gave us a lot of useful information about the Abyss. That's good. That's all I needed to know. Is there a reason you asked? You were pretty outspoken when we first met, but now it's like you're holding something back. Yeah, you can tell us anything. Uh, We'd like to listen. Maybe it seemed unreasonable picking that fight with her before you left, but I did it for a reason. Why? Her impulse to fight is extremely strong. 
Her mental strength helps her rein it in, but she still loses control sometimes. I had no idea what you might face in the Night Kingdom, so I didn't want to take any chances. So what you're saying is... You deliberately provoked her so she'd take that impulse out on you. Okay, so maybe it sounds a little stupid. A little bit. But it works pretty well. It helps her keep her cool for a little while, at least. Anyway, I'm just glad you were able to make it back safe and sound. That's all I wanted. What? Do you really have to go that far? Can't you just talk it out? No way. Chaska never opens up about her own pain, especially to her family. She can't learn about this. Or it'll be even harder to help her. I respect your decision. Thank you for confiding in us. I appreciate the understanding, and don't worry. I'll find a way to help her ease this burden. Anyway, I need to get going. Enjoy the celebration. It might be the last celebration we ever have, so I'm gonna have to enjoy it. Oh, and if you ever need a doctor, you know who to find. Buys you. Huh. <laughs> who would have thought there was a deeper reason behind their arguing? They're trying to look out for each other in their own way. In the end, it's all the Abyss's fault. Paimon's had enough of them. <laughs> Me too, Paimon. I'm getting sick of their crap. Let's give a huge round of applause to our brave young warrior, Kachina! Yay! Welcome back, Kachina! <laughs> Kachina's back! Kachina's back! Now, where are those two assholes? Woohoo! Well done, Kachina! Thank you, everyone! I'm so glad I finally made it! I always knew you could do it! With so much potential at your age, you have a great future ahead of you. Y'all are being super nice. Don't think I didn't know you were the first person to abandon your team. I'll be dealing with you when we get back. Ooh. Um, Pakal's not a happy person. I, I had no choice. My friend invited me. I couldn't just say no. Oh, really? So you weren't just trying to get ahead in the first round? I wasn't, I swear. Mm -hmm. I just happened to find that bearer injured in the wild. Sure. So I stopped to bandage his wounds. Sure. When he insisted on repaying the favor, what was I supposed to do? I'm just one person. I figured Kachina would have no trouble replacing me. Uh-huh. But the fact of the matter is that after your departure, everyone else started thinking about swapping teams too. I'm really sorry, Kachina. Are you? It was wrong of us to abandon you like that. Are you? It's amazing that you still made it all the way through to the Night Warden Wars. That's the highest honor. So, uh, what about you guys? Did you make it far? Um... What happened? Our team captain drank too much the night before the competition and yeah, turned yeah. up late to the stadium on the day. We got disqualified. That's what you get for abandoning little baby Geo. <laughs> Serves you all right. No sympathy for me. Yep, none for me either. All right, all right. There's no need to be like that, Uncle Pakal. Um, dear friends, I'd like to say a few words. I'm surprised those two idiots haven't showed up to give you a hard time, Kachina. Why ain't they here? Where are they at? Huh? Firstly, I'm grateful to my friends and our great Archon for helping to bring me back. Oh, she's here too. She's having a drink. This traveler and his companion Paimon are some of the strongest people I've ever met. If they were allowed to participate in the pilgrimage, I have no doubt that they'd win the whole thing. Yeah, we don't have a doubt either. They've agreed to let me learn from them. With their help, I believe I can become even stronger still. And let's not forget my good friends, Moalani, Chaska, Kanich, and Ayansan. They all helped the Traveler and Paimon figure out a way to bring me back from the Night Kingdom. They too deserve to be called our heroes. So, please give another round of applause for them. No, no Thank applause. So no, much. we're good. It's okay. Everything's fine. No, we don't need anything. I appreciate it though. Well said. No, 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 no. It's okay. No, 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 no applause. Thank you though. Yes, bring I'll me cake. Yeah, let's have a drink. How does it feel being a hero, Kachina? To be honest, it's a bit overwhelming. It all just feels so 
surreal. Well, you better get used to it. Next up, undefeated champion! That's right. That way, I'll also become a champion coach. Hey, please don't make fun of me. We're going to coach her. <laughs> Talk to Mabuika. Okay. And at previous victory feasts, you'd always find me in the crowd singing and dancing. But after what I found out today, it's too much. I'm still trying to process it. You'll be fine. It does feel weird seeing you so out of sorts. Uh, Nalan's fall isn't set in stone though, right? It's important to try and enjoy moments like this when they come along. <laughs> Is this another pearl of wisdom based on your adventuring experience? Well, Paimon agrees with the Traveler. Everyone's come together to celebrate Kachina's achievements. That's gotta be a first. True. You're right. <laughs> Kachina looks really happy. And now I'm being the moody one. Ugh, enough doom and gloom. Time to shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Ooh. Where's Taylor Swift when you need her? Ah, oh, you're here. Have some fruit juice. I got it specially for you two. Fruit juice? How did you know? That's my mom's favorite. You look like you've still got questions. Ask away. Isn't your plan a little convoluted? Why didn't you get the heroes of the past to join you in this age? Because they had their own lives to live. The thought of telling them, abandon your families and everyone you love, and come with me to the end of time. For in 500 years, Natlan will be destroyed. It seemed too cruel. Okay, sure. You could just as easily point out that everything in this world would come to an end eventually. But life is short. And beyond a point, it just doesn't seem real. Imagine if I said, let's leave right now and go save the sun because it'll flame out in a few million years. It would sound quite ridiculous. I couldn't make them shoulder that burden with me. All right, I get it. I got gotcha. you. Every generation will have its heroes, this one included. The plan can still work without them. Or... Of course, without me. But since I was the one who came up with the plan, I felt duty-bound to see it through to the end. Maybe she's going to die at the end. I'm suddenly remembering that portrait in your room. Was that your family from back then? Yes, it was. So when you asked me who my sister grew up to be, the truth is that very little information survives. Well, she said she was going to try to find you if she could find a way. From what I've been able to piece together... I can conclude with a reasonable degree of confidence that she ended up as an architect and artist. She played an instrumental role in rebuilding the scions of the Canopy tribe, designing and building many houses. But of course, um, none of her buildings are around anymore. It was a long time ago. Still, it was an impressive achievement, and I'm very proud of her. So that's the life you had to leave behind. You feel lost keenly. It seems to stir up feelings of regret in you. But this is something I have long since come to terms with. This is a war. And there can be no war without loss. True. I am already far more fortunate than those who lost their lives to the Abyss. The people of Natlan look to me as their Archon. And the weight of their expectations is mine to bear. I must see our fate through to the very end. No matter what I may find there. That's actually what I wanted to ask. If you're already aware, aware of fate... Yeah, doesn't that mean the way everything ends has already been written, including your plan? True. I suppose, but so what? Don't forget, time takes many forms. The past, present, and future coexist, and all are equally important. Even if the future ends in destruction, there's still no reason to give up on the here and now. And it's precisely because we humans cannot know our fate that we will never give up on our struggle. This is a pivotal moment. We are still two heroes short. Who are they? Well, three, to be precise. There's one further hero who I'm hoping to get on my side. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes? Are you sure about that, Mavuika? You're willing to do anything? 
Surely you don't mean me. Your resistance to the corrupting power of the Abyss is truly remarkable. It would easily make you an all-important figure in the upcoming battle. If you agree to join us, you will not only gain my full support in your journey, but I Ooh. will also forge a brand new ancient name for you. Ooh, we get an ancient name. Ancient names can be forged? They can. Several strict conditions must be met, but if they couldn't be forged at all, then the number of them in circulation would have long dwindled to zero. Possessing an ancient name would mean that your adventures in Natlan are recorded in full. Your stories would be remembered by our people for all the years to come. Let's do it! The Ode of Resurrection may have temporarily lost its power, but still. Take this as my personal guarantee that I shall never let you fall. Just like in the Night Kingdom, I will be there for you. That is a promise I will fulfill at all costs. This nation always honors its heroes. You don't have to promise me anything. I just want to help out the people. Yeah, we can't just ignore the situation here. So I have a feeling Act 3 is going to be getting our ancient name. Wonderful. Then I'll reach out to Shilonen right away. She's the one who will forge the name. Yep. We've never forged an ancient name for an outlander before, but I trust she'll find a way. Yep, that's what's going to happen. Act 3. Yep, Act 3. We're going to go get our ancient name. Dude, Act 2 was good. Act 2 was My good. Lord. We've oh, now what? The Pyro Archon has lost much of her power. Who is Rezanov? Although your injury complicates oh, dear things, God. this is most certainly oh. the opportune time to seize the Gnosis. Oh! Victory and defeat are rules, not outcomes. I have never taken advantage of an opponent in a time of weakness, and I don't intend to start now. Oh, the captain. Oh, that voice, dude. As for you, I must confess. I did not expect that little trick of yours to save the day. No matter how dense the fog, as long as the sun remains, we cannot turn day into night. She could have dispelled it. She simply chose not to. Who are you? <sighs> you don't have much time. And you're injured on top of that. What do you plan to do next? Wait, who is this? I'm beginning to see just how useful you may turn out to be. You heard something from here, didn't you? What? Are you looking at me? Who are you looking at? I kind of feel like you're asking me this question a little bit there, Captain. <laughs> what is he talking about? What is he talking about, dude? What the hell? Captain Arthian. All right, so Act Three, we're gonna go see if our ancient like name, or we're gonna go get our spots. ancient name, or whatever. That's I'm references. assuming that's what's gonna happen. So that's what I'm predicting Act Three is gonna be about. It's just that whole meeting Zillanen and all that I've stuff, and her tribe, and getting our ancient name. So, dude, the first two but acts were great. I've enjoyed it. Act One was very emotional. Learned about culture and history, and I, you know, learning the characters. This one was a little bit more action packed. We got Kachina back, so. I'm I'm glad that we got Kachina back, but I have a feeling it's gonna get worse. Like everybody's all happy and cheery right now. Something bad's gonna happen. You watch and see.